Good evening, everybody. This is Star Trek Online. <clears throat> Let's get her going. Ooh, got a message. Customer service. Are you serious? Look at this. Hello. The following ship names are in violation of our terms of service. USS Crapper Prize. At this time, the inappropriate names have been reset and you can change them the next time you log in. Please be aware that future violations can lead to a disciplinary action on the account, up to and including permanent account closure. Our guidelines and politics were created to protect accounts and ensure that the game remains fair and fun for the entire community. Regards, automatic message. Are you serious? I can't use crapper prize? <laughs> game done lost his mind. Nothing says anything. Terms of service with the name name that I'm seeing. Proprietary rights, nothing. License granted to you, nothing. Okay. Game interaction service use of viol vulgar language. Rules of conduct. Psst. You want to use uh, user generated content to convey any profanity, vulgarity, hate language. Since when? Does that mean it's just it's for fun? Piece of shit. All right. Well, I'll just have to get more creative then, won't I? Find ways around your piece of shit, Kane. If you're gonna be that way. So back when I was using other names like Toilet, um, Bidet, Latrine, Crapper is a name for a toilet. Hmm. It's not vulgar. I mean, thanks, somebody must have been trying to set me up, y'all cotton. 
King of Ramanshin, perhaps. Where are some enemies to shoot? My gosh. Maybe I need to name it Calzanus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's take the fun away from the player. That's what that's about. Rules and regulations. Wasn't hurting anybody. What's in a name? How about USS Fuck You? Was that? I've literally had the name for that ship for years now. going to be some investigating, I'm sure. I'm going to investigate the reason why. Challenge the system. That's what I do. Oh, man, I have nothing to talk about. That just sets me aside from whatever I had on my mind. I had a crackhead or so come in today when I was at work. Literally, after every time I'd scan something at the register, he'd go, how much, how much am, am I at now? Can you, can you tell me how much I owe you now? Like, uh, yeah, it's this, whatever. Okay, scan that and tell me how much. And then finally when I'm done, he's like wanting uh, these cigars or something. Though. He has to take some of the shit off of there just so he can get his stuff. And when he does, uh, then pays and all this stuff, whatever. And 
he leaves the bag, and I, um, the customer, like, runs the bag out there to him. And she, this lady comes back in and with him and said, this ain't his, he didn't buy this stuff. And it wasn't even what the guy took out there to the dude. Like, it's, uh, it's like cookies or something. You know, like a, like a little bag of cookies, and, this, and they brought back in, like, four items. And then the man, the man, like, had some milk, right? And I'd scanned it, you know, I, before, and, and he paid for the milk, and he said, "Yeah, and this milk right here too. Uh, I ain't bringing it back, and you can't, you can't make me buy another one." I was like, "Okay, whatever." I don't get it. And the only thing I can say after that was, "Don't do drugs." <laughs> Listed above. Support site terms. Yeah, I'm definitely going to submit something, that's for sure. I have nothing. Uh, in faith, I do not love thee, should I compare thee? I should, cho I should choose it in a different language. <laughs> I can use the name Toilet? Nah. Fifteen, no, that one, begin, ooh, five hundred, fifty thousand, Crapper was not meant to be vulgar. It's another name for a toilet. Mm hmm. So, what else is, is this game going to take away from the players? You know, the right to have fun. No fun having here. No, no, no. Don't you dare laugh. change character. <clears throat> what do we got here? Yeah, that's a good good capturing there. Who shot the sheriff? thing I ever got from anyone was laughs from my ship name. Uncryptic 
or Arc Games sends me a message saying, uh, that's a term of violation. Violation of our terms of service. You can't have that. Ooh, Mr. Man. Mr. Doesn't want to laugh at things. Mr. Serious. I'm serious. Serious about that. I'm serious. You can't have any fun around here. To get terms of service, have fun. I guess they want me to stop playing. That's what that tells me. Hmm. Would it be okay if I stopped playing Star Trek Online? Could probably end up saving a lot of time, I suppose. A lot of time during the day. Time in the evening. I do believe they're trying to get rid of players. Hmm. Might as well get this way. Well, tomorrow is Saturday. That's when I scan the fucking cooler at work. I get my head chewed off because of it. makes me wonder like okay say someone who actually pays a lot of money toward this game you know like they're always buying Zen they're always buying this they've got a lifetime subscription all this stuff and they like name their ship something funny well that's the terms of service violation sorry disciplinary action you're banned from the game after you poured all that money into it I highly doubt it Companies and stuff are getting butt hurt over bullshit. That's all that Matt. That's all it is. I need to get over it. What am I getting so much freaking lag for? Enemy targets on sensor.
Ah, oh, here comes the Rex. All right, let's see if we can gather up all this stuff right here and uh, see if we can run over there real quick. See if one, see if one. Good Arkham Party. Look how by. Eh, eh. Run. Run right into danger. So that's what we do. We run into danger. Everybody shoot at once. Everybody shoot at once. Everybody shoot at once. Everybody shoot at once. Da 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 Yay! Pew 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 I keep forgetting I got this big old damn weapon. It doesn't really matter though, somebody's killing it faster than anybody else can. All three All three salvos control. The Bob Fortress has engaged transporters. Troops inbound. I just want to see what people have to say. I'll send them a message here. In this AF channel, I, what was that? Like, one of my people that I alt set a play as? Let's see. Command center. Oh, we got a call for like reinforcements too. That's right. So let's go to. to over here. Not the city, no. Well, yeah, that'd be faster. People, it'd be alright to do that there. Jump in the boat to boat and over. Jumped in the boat, boat to turn over. Jumped in the boat. Mm 
Back to your stations. The bots have returned. <laughs> That sounds about right. Looks somebody probably reported it. There are plenty of other questionable names people can use. <laughs> I'll continue to call it the Crapper Prize. Even if the game doesn't want me to. Let me go to uh, the ARC site. Right quick. ARC. Go Ames. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Home. Um, discussion. Aram. So this is what's weird about like the art game thing, right? Here's the top at art. It says sign in or register. Like I'm not signed in, but in the discussion area, I'm signed in. I see my icon. I see new discussion button. Messages that I've never like. You know, notifications for for posts that have been talked or said things underneath where I've posted. No little Indian boy. Dun, 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 dun.
post. There we go. I posted on Art Games. Let's see how this goes. Let's see, Admirality. Nope. Let's go here. Complete. Collect rewards. Personal. What else have I done? Let's see. <laughs> oh, I never did that? Wow. Usually I put it automatically on that show with met requirements thing. Nodules in my anus make me happy. I mean, literally, whose butt is it hurting to, to like have that name on my ship? Come on, there's got to be one more. Personal again. No. No. Engineer. No. Science. Yes. There's... Okay, there's one. Alright. And let's see if there's anything quick on Admirality for this. No. Maybe that's why someone had Rolling for Laugh My AO as in a ship name because they couldn't understand why they would have it their ship like named stupid or whatever. Or renamed. Let's see. There, thirty five. Nope. How does it just jump up from that? Like, like, 30, 60, 30, automatically, plus 75. Why? Am okay, ambush event gives it more. I see now. Okay. We got ambushed. So we need more power. More power. Power. More power. Laughing stock. After uh, who was it that mentioned it yesterday? That was online chatting with me. Uh, was sludge, sludge three. I think about the whole thing of what the cryptic slash arc was doing was making it so everyone had to buy. You know, if they wanted something really bad enough, they had to buy uh, Zen in order to make it uh, buy ships and whatnot. 
Like they're trying to phase out this whole like uh, trade thing, exchange. Thirty-one, forty-one, no. Hmm. I'm curious. Oh, forgot to do that almost. Uh, exchange. I'm at eighty thousand for that character. So five hundred total dilithium to sell. Eighty thousand millions. There we go. Put in an offer. Let's see how far that gets me. Did I put in an offer for Lilu? Go back and look. Feel like I'm losing reality. Hi, I'm here. How are you? I'm there. Okay. Ooh, it is eighty thousand. So yeah, like five hundred and like Pharrell, um, Edith Yelvin. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Change character. La ha. La ha. La ha. La ha, la ha, la ha. Chila alena shalis no de da. I really got any kind of sleep last night. I didn't even look at my computer. I'm mean, my sister's computer. Cause I, I ran this a little bit longer than usual. But it was worth it. Talk to fantastic people. I don't know if I'm going to attempt to do that tonight slash morning. Or what? I do know that maybe since... Okay, the installation had said something about um you know would 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 create windows dot old as a folder for the original like windows or something that's what i remember when i chose the custom option or whatever but i don't know why it would have created a second windows installation separately so if this is the case the windows dot old usually that gives they they give you like about what fifteen some odd, or thirty like a month until like you can't undo or recover stuff from that it'll like auto delete itself from the hard drive. I guess I need to look into that. Explosion. Boingy, boingy, goingy, a boingy, a boingy, a boingy. Bubble, bubble. Bitty bitty bitty. Bitty bitty bitty. Haas 0031 and C Q A R T. Hello. That's weird. Are those like bots or are they real? Are they real people? Because the H O S S. I've had, what, like three people with that beginning nickname? Like, 
a follow and then uh, you look back through like your list and they're not even there that's weird <sighs> blink she blinking I'm a donkin a like a shlinkin Kaboom. Maybe it is time to start playing a different game. Mm. What's everyone think? Leave me a thumbs down in the comments uh, if you think that I should start playing or keep playing this game. Un unlike and unsubscribe if you think I should play this game. <laughs> and don't forget not to click the bell icon. They always, I always say that. People always say that. It's so annoying. If people want to watch your stuff, they'll keep up with it their own little way. They'll click on stuff. And, you know, and always, like, when they go to YouTube or something, they'll look on their little list to see if you're, if you got new videos and stuff. Man, I don't think about it. I just put it on there and categorize it and then leave it. Uh, the count of uh, subscribers on my YouTube thing has gone down a lot all the time. Though. It's hard to imagine. I was like a thousands and stuff before. But I stopped doing everything. When they changed the... Um, what was it? It's the ad revenue thing years and years ago. It, it made it so the uh, videos that I had, which were of my own little making, which I deleted a lot of stuff off of there after that happened too. Because it just wasn't worth like keeping older stuff because I was going to like uh, <laughs> redo things, make it higher quality because. That was back whenever I went. Uh, 360 was like the most, and uh, what, four four to three aspect ratio was the main like ratio, and then they came up with a 720p, and I thought maybe that was in more demand. So I I like you know then then they start changing the terms of service stuff on YouTube to where. You know, you had to meet these requirements for stuff, and I, I dropped below that because they were deleting um, older accounts that people had had, I guess, that people weren't using anymore. And I just said, well, you know, this was fun while it lasted. Who cares anymore? So I deleted, like, half of the videos I had on YouTube to try to make, like, um, higher quality videos. You know, like 720 plus types, and the internet sucks, so it wouldn't like, wouldn't, you know, upload fast enough to actually have it because my internet, was, again, like I said, was crap. So it went down to like 400 and whatever it is now. And people have been just constantly like dropping off because I didn't have new content or nothing like that. I had a lot of TARDIS stuff. You know, like, uh, from Doctor Who. I had, like, 3D models of things. And, uh, put green screen behind it, and people would watch the videos and want, cut, like, certain 3D things or whatever like that, and I'd make it and put it out there and let people, like, watch it and I guess they download it somehow and put it in their little videos, you know, like uh, their little creations of the TARDIS intro, like the bouncing around in the time tunnel type thing. More than something, 50 items in your... Oh my god, really? It's these damn people that are in here. 
Alright, what are we going to do? We're going to make some more, um, create manual, that right there. How do I get so many people? That's crazy. Create manual. Create manual. Is it not creating manuals? I'm not seeing this number dwindle down any. Create manual. Maybe it's not because it's not here. Let's see. Create manual. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. It just wasn't up there. Hypersonic radiation. Create manual. Energy siphon. That gave me some marom. Create manual. Create manual. Create manual. Create manual. Okay, that'll give us some room to do stuff. Not now, damn it. So I got another person right there. <laughs> I'm always getting people. How is that possible? Recruitment. 252 recruitment. Here. Here. How do I do that? Let me just, like, if I, like, click through all those, there's nothing there. Okay. I go here. There's nothing there, of course. Engineering. There's that. Operations. Development. Science. <sighs> Nothing there. Okay, medical. Just medical. Tactical. Alright, it's nothing there. Went back to medical for no reason. And that, espionage. Okay, so this one's not going to give me that. Oh, gravy on an onion ring. Mr. Poo Poo Pants. So I guess that means my pooper scooper, um, shuttle, or miniature, uh, what was that? The little Millennium Falcony type ship that I got. They're probably going to say, hey, you can't use that either. <laughs> um, we were looking through the, uh, the list of ships you have, and, uh, uh it violates his term service. Huh? <laughs> You're funny. Do I look like I'm joking? That would be a good sound effect. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. Let's do it live. Let's see. Why can't you just find a sound file out there? Like, I typed in, like, do I look like I'm joking sound? And it's like, hey, you want to go to the video? No. <laughs> it's from Batman. The Joker. Do I look like I'm joking? Sound clips from, there it is, okay. Do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> yeah, I need to I need to save that if I can. Free download. Click the download file MP3. Download clip by simply clicking download button. Download, 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 download. We did it. We downloaded that. And we're playing it now. <laughs> Where did it put it though? Yeah, it's gonna be in the downloads, isn't it? Every damn time. Cut, 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 And put my stream lab sounds. Put that in there. Yeah. We'll play it in Winamp. I have Winamp. I love Winamp. It really whips the llama's ass. Do I look like I'm joking? Oh, a Rex. Erex. 
Hello out there in the land of the dead. Oh, the outskirts already fucking cheaters, man. Fucking cheaters. Bunch of pansy ass cheaters. I don't know how they're doing that so damn fast. And hell, if, if I had time to actually play this game correctly, I might be able to figure all this stuff out. Do things that other people can do. But I can't. I can't. I have to do things. I have to do what others want me to do. I can't have a life of my own. I gotta do what everyone tells me to do. Forget about having a private life, that's for damn sure. Request reinforcements to now. Possibility of possible? The plausibility of possible. Why did I have that queued up? You really want her stuff. You gotta go get back to her, okay? <laughs> you said give it back, man. Commander Arnold's not tilted the correct way. He's moved. Come on, y'all capture that thing. I know you want to, because I want to hurry up and get this. I gotta get this. I gotta get this. this, this. Okay, science. No, tactical. Yay! And collect. All three silos are under allied control. Excellent work. Oh, you're welcome, you idiot. Not you, you idiot. The Vaughn Fortress has engaged transporters. Troops inbound. You know, it's really fun when you're at work. And the dog comes in. Just walks on in the door. It was, um... Bob! Bob! Cool, Bob is on. Bob. 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 Let me jump onto O'Neill. Because that's, uh, Bob will be on that. There, mostly. Play, 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 You would think they'd have like an automatic thing that checks names and shit, but no, they don't. Bob? Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Hmm. Where fashion sits, putting on the ritz. Shh. We could just use the uh, transporter. <laughs> the 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 goose, the the goose, the the goose goose, the the goose. <laughs> Lullaby and good night. Bump your head on my shoulder. Lullaby and 
good night with roses bed light with lies on uh, their spread for the babies we uh, and they lay down and then rest they they tumble this bless another delight the delight will come get by hmm. one thing that surprised me like uh, it was actually yesterday I uh, I was at work and even today the person did it again there's just one girl comes in and she got a kind of like a rough past, I guess, or something like that. I've heard, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, when she comes in, I say hello because, you know, we're, we're supposed to say hello. But I, I just say it because I've gotten so damn used to it. I greet everybody I can. If I see you come in, I'll say hello. Make eye contact, that sort of junk. Well, I said hello. They turn around. They put their, um, she puts her hand like the top of the top of her uh, hand underneath her chin and flexes out her fingers a few times I don't know if you've ever seen that but it's like a the al, um, you know alfalfa and spanky and Darla and all them from uh, the little rascals that's how they would always like wave at each other and uh, I was like oh my god that makes that makes me laugh and I said oh man oh, the little rascal she said I knew you'd get that Oh, Perry Mason, Perry this, Perry that. Is it true? That is it true? Is it true? It sure is, Perry. And if you want to see if it's true or not, you'll look at this this way and and know that I'm not telling you a lie, Perry Mason. Mary Payson. We didn't even read out the endeavors today. Blam. That message just ca caught me off guard when I logged in. Maybe I can put in the U.S. as null. N-U-L-L. -L, like, no name at all. That's a violation. You gotta have a name. I'm gonna go wet my pants in my own underwear. Where are my little boots? I need to go get my little yellow raincoat and my rain boots and go find a puddle somewhere because I'm so upset. Anyway, it's September 3rd, by the way. According to my shit that I'm doing. Endeavors are universal. Complete the Storming the Spire TFO. Personal win GPL play in Dabo. 500 of those. Destroy Voth ships, Dyson Sphere. 10 of those. Complete Iconian TFOs. 3. Boom, boom, boom. You gotta throw that 3 in there, don't they? What the hell, mister? Well, you know, if people can have their ships named whatever, I can have my name whatever, too. So I think what I'm going to do is get creative and call my ship the Outerprise. <laughs> Got the Enterprise, and mine's the Outerprise. Or, Goatsy. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, um, I think it's G-O-A-T-S-E. Is that how it was spelled? Like a picture of an old man, like pulling his ass apart, and all you see is the inside of his anus. It's 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 uh, a like a little joke they had years and years ago called the giver, and who would be the receiver? I don't know what it was about, but it made me laugh. Like tub girl. If you don't know what tub girl is. I could say. I was shown the picture of Tub Girl. Or given a link to once before. <sighs> it was a picture of. Uh, I probably mentioned this on here. I don't know. I never know what I mention, what I don't. I can't. I don't keep track of it. But, um. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. It's a um. It's, it's a woman in a bathtub. 
with like her feet up in the air like behind her head or something like that and there's this fountain of diarrhea shooting from her ass and hitting her in the face right I'm gonna find that picture right after these messages from Star Trek Online Star Trek where you want to look at somebody hard enough you stare at them Star Trek the creators of Star Trek Where you going? Where y'all going? Come back, yak. Oh, you're gonna wake up your guy. You're waking up your guy. Navy boobs. Flapping here and there and far. Navy boobs. Well, they finally got the air conditioning fixed at the place I work at. That's nice. Guess all it took, uh, see the day before that, this uh, local guy that lives around the area, duh, lives around local, mm -hmm. go figure, um, he came in and told uh, the people that were there, like the others that I work with, I wasn't there, but they, they told them it was hot in there and why, why was there air like you know they was like well we've reported it like out but they haven't done anything so I'll see what I can do to push that ticket ahead and get them to fix it and then the next day it's fixed how about that it took an air conditioner repairman to come in and say hey you need air in here and it happened versus you go through the company you say hey the air's not working in the store and you're like, um, the air's not working in the store. Nothing but crickets chirping. You don't hear a thing from corporate office. You don't hear a thing from your higher ups. Nothing at all. You know. And then it, and then customers complain. They send another thing to complain. Chocolate's melting all over the shelf. Everyone's hot as hell in there. Because the air's not working at all. Or part of it's working in one section, not everywhere. Congratulations, Admiral. And then all it takes is just a little air conditioning repair guy come in there and go, Hey, I can get your air fixed in like a day, man. You're like, oh, all right, dude. Go ahead, man. Dude. Grow ahead. I didn't put Leticia. Well, she's, he's only got 64, so we're going to, um, 64. It's like 70. Oh, ooh, ooh. Shoot that guy, mister. No, mister, you shoot that guy. Hello, I'm gonna shoot you too. We're gonna shoot each other in the face. Then we'll come back and shoot everybody in the face. Can I call you Dadu? November 5th, Animaniacs, yo. It's time for Animaniacs. You watch, um, I'm just thinking again. My, my mind keeps jumping back and forth to this whole, like, thing about my ship name uh, being terms of service violation. Um, since I posted on the forums, and I posted like, a, a, you know, it was like just a basic message. It says, um, I received a message that said that my ship name was a term of violation thing, and the ship name is this. It was Crapper Prize. And I've had it like for a year. Why now? You know. You watch. I'll have like some sort of moderator or admin or whatever go in there and say, I'm going to delete this message because you're talking bad about this company. <laughs> Like it's it's like uh, when I first started getting on the forums, you know, I played the game and didn't really care much about the forum stuff. But when I f officially started like actually participating in the forums a little bit, I made a joke, and one of the moderator people didn't like it. They they thought it was harassing, and and talking bad about the developers of the game. On on their own forum, it's anyway. Uh, it was some. It was just something soft, nothing really bad or anything. It's a joke, really. And uh, they gave me like a little warning and said, "If you do that again, you're banned." I'm gonna go put butt paste in my ass, you know, something like that. And uh, <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Well, that moderator doesn't really moderate there anymore. It's that Bad Moon Rising guy. H A T E 3K says, "High score wanna." Hi. What's up? H A T E 3K says. What you talking about? 
Um, well, at first I was talking about a message I got on here when I first started today about my terms of service violation warning. Well, damn it, I clicked off of the wrong thing. Date. Ah, shit. Where's it at? Right there. Yeah. It says uh, that my the following ship names are a violation of terms of our service. My USS Crapper Prize, which is my main person's ship that I've had named that for over a year. And uh, it's an inappropriate name. It's been reset. You can change it the next time you log in. So, yeah. I was talking about that earlier. H-A-T-E-3-K uh. says, LOL. Yeah. What the hell now? Why now, right? And I've had the Crapper Prize there. In, in my U.S. My, my my bidet ship that I've had the flusher, the toilet prize, the the train. Three K says, "Don't worry about it." Yeah, but I, I posted a, a thing on the forums. This is what I was getting to about the forums, uh, and years ago, whenever I. H A T E three K says, "There are people leak that out in stow." Oh, so you're thinking maybe it's just it's fake or something? Cause I, I I don't see how it's like a really a violation. It's which is crazy. Plan nothing there. But that one moderator guy that was always jumping everybody's ass on the forums. His name was Bad Moon Rising, and um, he's no longer there for some reason. I think I found out why. Um, I was like just randomly looking up whatever like that. Now somebody else is like. H A T E three K says. Want to know what name I used for a ship for a couple years before I got that same email? What what, what was your ship name? H A T E three K says I still use it. Oh. Okay. So H -A -T -E -3 it's probably gonna be three K the... says Titrus. Why would that be a a violation? That's crazy. I figured it was just uh, somebody that I just recently upset that may have like reported my ship or something like that. Just because he was harassing my ass in, in the game, and I I didn't take it. I didn't you know keep. I didn't I didn't allow it anymore and, def and unfriended this person. But. Uh, I just I think it's funny if it's a tr if it's -A -T -E real. H A T E three K says I got one for having a for a ship I named after an anime character. <laughs> so so it's like maybe a violation of uh you didn't think of the name yourself you just used another name out there. H A T E three K says even provided proof and they still didn't care. I mean you know in, in my opinion they really don't need to um be jumping over characters about small stuff anyway because there's like people that are barely playing this game because of the way it is now and H A T E 3 k says in my opinion they are a bunch of hypocrites yeah I totally agree I mean they've got names for for like was it uh, uh, duty officers and stuff that I, I've read about over the years that can be a terms of violation of their own game. <laughs> and yet they're still out there. Of course, I don't know if that was a joke about maybe the people made it that way after they got fired or, or they knew when they were going to get fired or quit or something like that. They just go and edit the game and, and nobody notices until later. HATE3K says they consider naming a ship Enterprise is not allowed. Yeah, that's that's what I uh, came across whenever I first named one of my ships just to see, and it said that it wasn't the name couldn't be used or whatever. But I've seen people using it out there. I've seen the Discovery name used, you know, other ships and stuff. And I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm I'm ready to go to my account to see what it's going to tell me. If it's true, because they said they've automatically renamed -E it. H-A-T-E-3-K says, I did the same thing the first time I got Enterprise D&E. Oh. Let's see. 
185 power fluctuation so that's causing that to be more needed and that's not going to do it we're going to have to jump over to another character here comes Jim Hadar. Oh, we got to talk to what's his face, don't we? HAT3K says, just remember both Siptic and Sto COMM unit are toxic for the most part. Ah. Cryptic and STO. I hate, like, on the forums when people can actually have actual discussions about things. And it may get a little heated, but it's worth it to just, you know, get the point across of, of certain -E things. H-A-T-E-3-K says, but T-H-R-E are some decent players. Yeah. And then, like, a moderator would come along and shut it down and say, this is the end of this one, I don't want this to be at, you know. Or people have the conspiracy theories about, like, the game itself and what Cryptic's really doing, or art games or whatever like that, and which make a, some sense to, some, to a lot of people. And it's like if you talk about it or say the word, they they delete it real quick. You know, they get rid of it. Don't 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 no 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 no. I'm thinking hide the truth. <laughs> you know, change character. Cause this game could be awesome if they just like unlocked its potential. Listen to to the fans. I guess you could say. H a t e three k says Atari need to take Sto back and go back to the way it was. Agreed. I want the foundry back. I was going to try to make some machinima episodes out of that. H-A-T-E-3-K says, at least that what I heard when Stowe first came out. Yeah, um, I heard it was like a completely different type of game, you know. They even had like a, an app for, you know, a phone or tablet that you can use to play part of the game you know, while you weren't around a computer or something like that. Like, you could do your duty officer stuff or or whatever, you know, and access the exchange or something like that. H-A-T-E 3K says, really, I didn't know. Yeah. I can't remember what the name of it was, though. Somebody was talking about it the other, the other day. Who was it? Uh, I got a uh, someone that views, uh, or when I'm streaming, come on every once in a while, I call it Arcana Loath. And they were talking more about that, too. That uh, since it changed over, like, ownership or something, the person that was responsible for keeping that code going or modifying it or something was, like, either quit or got fired. And they didn't know how to, to like... It's kind of like the Foundry is, you know. Apparently, they a lot of people that program this game don't know a lot of what to do with some of the programming language or... And, or what what's everything gonna do, you know? And so they just uh, they just shut it off. Like uh, each update requires some sort of up uh, individual updates from departments, and if you don't have the people to know how to do it or who was thinking what, then they just like gets canceled the little project of it. So they've cut back on a lot of what this game can do and the ideas that the original creators had for it. And we're stuck with what we have now, which is them just building ships and not content that is really like, you know, more. You know, they, they, it's like, uh, for instance, um, a few maps on here are identical. If you, you know, like some TFOs, to where, what is it like, parallel over uh, Pavo or whatever, it's the same as that. Um, was it the Nexus thing or? Some TFO that Jordy has on here. Where is that at? Uh, it's something to do. It's beyond the next, I think. This one here, yeah. Uh, whenever you use that one, it's the same concept. Like, you have your Alpha, Omega. No, your Alpha, Beta, and um, Gamma, you know, set up. And you go over there and you satellites and you do all this other stuff to them. The same as you did for Parallel over Pavo and it's it's just a copy of it with with just different you know narrative or whatever instead of something new and original and and all that ooh this one's about to bust off with the dino yo let's see one two three four 
four are needing to be ones need to be captured to make this thing drop. So what's going to happen first? What we gonna do first? But it does. It seems like they're doing something to make us have to buy Zen. You know, and I'm not about to spend no money. That's for damn sure. The only reason I ever got Zen at the first the first time I actually bought Zen was because I had like a twenty dollar uh, Steam gift card given to me by somebody, and I just I used it for Star Trek Online. You know, just to to get some. Zen, because I, I didn't know you could do the whole dilithium thing at the time. And that's the only reason, only way I ever got that. And I can't remember what I bought. I think it was some slots and uh, just some uh, master keys or whatever, R&D things. Thinking I needed it back then. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see. Nobody's capturing. Rawr. Hmm. Got a stalemate. Somebody's waiting over there. And coming this way. Boing, boing, boing. Command center. HATE3K says, I know some new players still trying to get account bank and EC cap unlocked. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's -A, -T -A, a definite, K I think. says, and they've been playing for over a year now. Yeah, you have to um, buy that. I had to buy that myself. To unlock it to what two billion? Because a lot of the prices for things just went up. Ooh, a trader's here. Somebody, somebody brought the trader. Holographic trader. Bank account. <laughs> I got two things in here. <laughs> the winter event stuff. I didn't do anything with this character at all. Yeah, you have to, um, is it services? I think. Uh, energy credit cap increase, yeah. You gotta buy it from 15 million to 2 billion. Now that is a definite need in this game for sure, even though it does cost Zen. That's gonna suck whenever the Zen thing disappears eventually, or the the Dilithium exchange for it. More than twenty-four what defeated eh? What do you got going on? Not a damn thing. This this section's about to like be overrun by nothing. All right, we're gonna go out here and help uh, keep this captured. Boom! Boo! I wonder if I can edit the text-to-speech script that's used for uh, the bot that I'm using right now to change the way it says certain things. Like it can't say dilithium; it says lithium or whatever. It sounds like glithium, lithium, dilithium. Okay, we we killed that. We can probably reinforce it. All right, got those. Nice. So I gotta capture some points. This is just gonna just drag on, isn't it? Shite, man, shite. Let's see. We're gonna make a run for it. We're gonna run all the way over there to the other capture area. HATE3K says, I don't like Dyson Battle Zone. I only do it to get the dilithium for my characters. I find it's like the the easiest way to get like thousands of dilithium for them every day and marks that can, can be converted over to dilithium. And plus, uh, you know, I, my characters that run the ground stuff here. They don't even like. Um, they don't have ships that are worth anything. I just I ground them. That's why I 
my main character is the character that I do the space stuff with and my stories and all that. Except for uh, Jim Hadar, because I do, I do make them do the gamma thing to unlock things. Outskirts. You do you have a per, uh, a ground preference that you like to play, or you like space battles mostly? Fire. I remember back whenever they uh, like forced you to what was it pay energy credits or dilithium or something to rename your ship, rename a crew member or whatever it was. Hit them in the back, shoot them in the leg, kick them in the knee. Now they're dead. <laughs> Bucktooth Rhino, how you doing there, Dino? The Bucktooth Dino. They actually say. Now, that the Tyrannosaurus Rex -A had lips. Three K says, just not gem tune. Ah. H A T E three K says, B T W. What outfit is that? Uh, it's the T O S. All three silos are under allied control. Excellent. Uh, H A T E three K series. says, and how do I get one for my gem? Um. What was it? Troops um, if if you're Jim Hadar, well, if of course if you're just original Star Trek or whatever, um, you have to go, you have to have Zen for one thing, and uniforms, and where is it? It's in here somewhere. Do -do 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 -do. Right here. 23rd century Starfleet uniform. It's like 550 Zen. Um, and I, I got this years ago uh, for just unlocking all my characters that since my uh, main character is from the uh, TOS era, um, some of the officers that I've gotten for it were not, so I couldn't dress them up for TOS. So eventually, when I gained the Zen, says, ah. when I gained the Zen, I unlocked it so that I can dress them that way. So it unlocks it for the whole account, and I made the, my Jim Hadar like a little story for him or backstory was like uh, after uh, being freed from uh, the founders and you know and able to make their own Catracel White. Yeah. Um, he uh, just went to Starfleet and decided on a path and they gave him an option of like, uh, okay, what kind of... What, what, who inspires you from Starfleet? And he said, James T. Kirk. You know. And uh, so he like read the Kirk missions and stuff. And wanted to be like Kirk. So he dresses as Kirk and he... Uh, changed his name to Jim Hadar Kirok. Like Kirok from the TOS episode when Kirk is down on the planet and the little he you know, his brain gets all fried from that uh, pillar or whatever that's down there and he calls himself Kirok. He's with a bunch of Native Americans and stuff. So he's like I am Kirok And that's what and, and then Jim and instead of Jim Hadar it's J J I M Hadar. So I was like, here, Jim Hadar Kirok. <laughs> so he's like a Captain Kirk, but he's a Jim Hadar. <laughs> That's a little backstory I got for him. Oh, this is about to reset. I need to go back in here. Back to in here. Um, How far has this one gotten on the... Ooh, refined. Look at that. Shit. We've got refined a whole lot. We need to sit him in the exchange as well. I'm letting some of this stuff sit here, like the Zen. Or, well, buying Zen, because it's going to take a few days or even well, maybe weeks at this point to actually get uh, any Zen at all. So I'm going to be stations. saving up in the there. Typically, whenever I reach a certain amount of dilithium, I'll uh, put it in the uh, 
you know, the exchange to get Zen from it. But now since Zen is rare, it's a little harder. Override transporter. Alright. I'm gonna go capture this one down here. Some pack lightning. Very, very frightening. One of the other battle zones I kinda like ground battle zones is the uh Kabali Front. Or at Kabali Prime, where you fight the Vaudoir. That's fun. Because those guys were tough. And then you get to like go all the way up to the mountain there and bite, fight the final boss. Like you can do that like all the time too, if you know if you want to. It's another one out there somewhere, I think. I forget. Been a while. They need to have more uh, functions like this in the game. Like, for instance, you never see much of the Cardassians, do you? In this game. Sure, there are a few story missions and they're in there, but you, you just don't see Cardassians. There's like no super interaction all the time. I mean, you have Tholians, you know, that's, a, I guess, another ground one. You fight Tholians. The Endeavors are all about the Tholians doing this, Tholians doing that. Zinkethi here, you, you know. But you, you'd have nothing about the Cardassian. <laughs> it's like they don't exist. And, and the Ferengi have nothing to do either, you know. Well, what is it, like, uh... Um, just Quark's Lucky Seven or something is a story mission where you actually get to play as Quark and as Lek and and um, Nom or whatever. Like, and, that, and that's it. You know, there's just there's nothing there for the, for Ferengi. I don't even can you even uh, yeah I guess you can be a Ferengi captain. Yeah, I've I've seen a few of them, but other than that. I don't know, if, are there like specific story missions if you're Ferengi? Or does it just go straight to Starfleet? I need to I need to have a Ferengi captain. That's what I need to do. Make me a butthead captain. <laughs> One of each. That's that's That was my goal at first. One of each species. And of each of those species, one of each type. Tactical science engineer. That was my goal at first. A Klingon, um, Starfleet captain, that kind of thing. You know, just to see if I can dress him as a Klingon for real. Romulan. I've got sort of a Romulan. It's a um, an alien Romulan with a little backstory. HATE3K says, I need EC. Uh, what level are you? Enemy on, on your character, or the main, uh, a character that you have, uh, are playing as. Or do you do multiple characters, or you just say it one? HATE3K says, maxed out. Oh, you're maxed out on the one character that you always use? HATE3K says, I try to go through each of my tune. Okay. Well, um, if you're maxed out mostly on all your tunes and stuff, you could try Admirality. Like, uh, that's a good way to get a lot of energy credits. You can up get up to about what? hundred thousand sometimes per little adventure that the ships go through. All you have to do is just tell them to do it and just wait the time out and let it happen. Like I'm, I'm about to go through the little bitty list that I'm gonna have here too. Alright, I've already done that, right? Yeah. Or you could, uh, go through the R&D system. Creates a bunch of stuff or whatever that's in demand on the exchange. Three K says, "I like doing tour." Uh, the tour the galaxy quest or mission that's given to you by what's his face, or do you mean like an admirality? 
Admirality. You can always sell uh, weapons to Quark and get a little bit more energy credits from that. He's always fun to play with. Over there on Dips, Dips Bus 9. HATE3K says, of Galaxy. Ah, okay. As you fly around the galaxy. I forget how much it gives you out Like once you, if you do the whole thing. I've never been able to do -T -T the whole thing. HATE3K says, takes forever if I get lucky. Hmm. I've have never been able to complete that 100%. K says, but worth it in end. Gotcha. See the um, admirality. Oh God, I'm sorry, just so sleepy. Um, you can pick one of these sometimes that give you out a whole lot of uh, energy credits at a time just like right then whenever I collected I got 200,000 925,000 EC if complete tour is done wow and that's like uh, beta alpha and delta quadrant I think I think I've, I've reached delta quadrant but I've never finished it in my ship my main ships got like a was it 56 Point something trans warp -E speed. Three K says, just beta and Oh, Okay. <clears throat> well, um, if your characters have energy credits, you can share it with the, uh, like in your main bank, you know. Or if you don't have that cap, I guess it just goes to fifteen million. Or uh. If you have, uh, you know, any Zen, you can buy master keys and get lockbox stuff and sell lockbox stuff on the exchange. Get lucky enough to get like a ship or something. H A T E three K says, "I have cap and bank." Okay. Anything in particular you're wanting to get with energy credits? I'm trying to find one of these that has a, a thing, a really good. Reward. It's getting really. It's getting harder to find stuff for rewards. I mean, since they changed ad admirality like a few years ago, it's like it's just. It's not as fun. Urgent. Emergency. Urgent. Plan. Plan. Tour of duty for Ingi Alliance. We need to do Klingon though, don't we? Plan that one out. 67. I don't think I've done a tour of the galaxy in a -A long time. HATE 3K says, yes, some stuff. Uh. Twenty. Ten sixty twenty. That's got 150. And 2940, that gets jumped up there pretty high. And finish it off with something like that. Who cares? Let's see. HATE3K hmm. says, QND have some EC for temporal tune. Ah. Oh, you have a temporal. HATE3K says, on 8th. Okay. All right, I got gotcha. you. Well, um, can <clears throat> do you do the reputation stuff? That can I can uh, cost you a lot of uh, energy credits by doing those. You know, like if you do this daily thing, it'll cost you I think fifteen. Yeah, fifteen thousand. And if you have a bunch of those, just the little boxes of, uh, you know, when you do that, it kind of gives you a gift box of whatever something is. And if you have too many of those, there's a lot of energy credits just sitting there as weapons. And you can uh, discard says, those. Goal is buy a lot two three C stuff before going to future. That's a, that. That is a good strategy. Actually, I'm I'm doing that um, for a character that I've had for a while that is not one of the uh, temporal uh, ones though but it's, it's still from the TOS era 
I leave it back there just in case like something can happen to allow stuff from the past to come to the future. So I, I, it's a like level 20 tune right now there. And um, whenever I, I just like play the same episodes over to level it up and get energy credits. And with that, I buy like um, the technical manuals just for that. But, you know, and officers and stuff. And I just keep a bunch of officers of that the 23rd century just in the little station thing. And if I ever get that officer to the future, it'll have all this stuff for every officer instead of having to wait for a, a fleet to unlock K-13 or something, you know, and to be able to get all that again. Because I don't know if you know, that's what you can do, like, in the future. Uh, or, well, here. H-A-T-E-3-K says, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I leave one back there. And it used to, I could actually share things back and forth with the one back there. H-A-T-E-3-K says, can you show me that stuff? The what stuff? H A T E three K says from that tune. Oh yeah, yeah. I can I can go straight over to the tune after I collect all these here. It's one I, I barely use because um, and then since the the temporal other the TOS thing or whatever's coming back, I think I'll start using it a little bit more. Eh. Eh. But since, you know, whenever a fleet unlocks uh, K-13 to, like, Tier 3 or whatever, you can always go over there and, like, buy um, manuals from that to and, and crew members from the 23rd century. But that's, you know, having to buy it versus already being able to have it, you know? I, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to, like, build up everything I can on that one tune in the past. I used to or was once able to take tr the training manuals and shift them to the future through my bank, but they fixed that. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Did I do that? Yeah, okay. Let me do that. I'm going to go over to my the tune that, that I have stuck in the past. Let's see. See, I got Buck Rogers. I should have left him back there too, but he's in the future now. H-A-T-E-3-K says, sorry, what was that last part? The last part. Um, I talked so much I don't know where I left off. Was it about uh, I was once able to transfer some stuff from the past to the future until Cryptic p or, or Art Games fixed it? H-A-T-E-3-K says, you said they fixed something. Yeah. You, before, you were uh, you could like take um, things from the past and the future you know, say like the it's not really past and future; it's just accounts or whatever. But um, and say, okay, this character right now, this is my past one that's still in the back in the back of the past. There, she's got these training manuals: photon, grenade, one, two, whatever, like that. You know, and I got an EMH medical officer I can even have here too and unpacked <laughs> if I wanted to. I got a Phoenix prize pack back here, but anyway. These training manuals, I was once able to go to um, my bank and put them in there and then go to one of my other characters in the future thing or whatever, take those and use them. But then they fixed it to where, since they consider the past part of this, or TOS, is a tutorial, they locked it from doing anything. So you can't access the event tab anymore. Used to, you could do that. H-A-T-E-3-K says, oh, that sucks. Yeah, and... um before they fixed it also um this is the ship that i have for my person here in the past it's the uh rising corvette and uh and i can unlock like uh the abilities and stuff of it still too to this day but i can't use a lot of things says i like the 23 stuff yeah and well they're coming out with that uh that you know legendary h-a-t-e-3-k says Wanted for all my other tunes. Yeah, it's it's great stuff. I, I love TOS stuff. And my stations here, up, down here at the bottom, you have 15 bridge officer candidates. I have 15 -A -T -E TOS saved. Says, oh, nice Nikki Heat. Where have I heard that name? Um, from the show Castle. That used to be, uh, what was it on ABC or something or NBC? 
where it's about Nathan Fillion played a um, a novelist, and he followed around Agent um, HATE 3K says yeah Castle right Castle yeah see I even have Rick HATE 3K <laughs> says that was good show oh yeah I loved it but I have uh, 15 bridge officers sitting here ready like for whenever I take this one to the future and actually use this character they'll I'll already have like future tactical officer or TOS tactical officers for this that was the whole point of this one but before they fix anything that's that's how I have the rising corvette here in the past and it's an advanced ship because it's a T6 ship in the past but now you can't do that HATE3K says can you send those bridge officers to other tunes no they are uh, account bound like as soon as you buy them they go into uh, the bridge officer candidate slot here and they're uh, they're bound to just uh, the, uh, the the off the current tune you're at so you can't like move them you can't do anything with them you you weren't were able to I think but you can't do that now the reputation systems also Lee locked Fox rage past. says temporal agent recruit event starts on the 8th HATE 3k says there is not mail station anywhere um no but there's the bank in the past there's the tailor the tailor is kind of locked as well until three k says is there um when you go to your ship you can access a few things but not a lot of things yeah the temporal agent recruit event starts on the eighth yeah this is just I'm just showing an example of one of the TOS tunes I've kept in the past at a commander level 20 right now just in case they've ever had you know we're gonna do something I wanted to keep someone back here um so we can go to the tailor and modify modify that back in the day and so it just stays it just it locks you at original series in the past uniform let's see get off of that exit exit again oh that one time it, I was wanting to go to uh, the shipyard that's what it was manage ships so I got the Beckett the castle the Nikki heat before they fixed it well you can't have that anymore I can't even upgrade that to an X version I, I just saw that <laughs> Cause I do have one. I doubt I can probably like give myself that from the bank though. Let me go. I'm gonna look at that. I'm gonna customize it. H A T E three K says, I like the Rision Corvette. Now yeah, it's pretty awesome. It was one ship that I had like that I, I finally got was a T six ship, you know, from the event. H uh, A T E three K says, I use it on few of Mituans. There's the turbo lift you can't use. As long as you don't do the last mission, you're good. I like to pretend you can actually beam to your ship. Turn to the head means beam me up. Takes a while to load up that there ship. But it, it's kind of painful to keep a tune in the past because you're constantly just working the same character, uh, story arcs, you know, to level it up. And that's why I barely get on this tune. When I made my Buck Rogers tune, I uh, immediately like made him go to the future, kind of like real, real Buck Rogers. Starship Bridge. This looks small craft. Go over here to account bank. See, so used to you could access the account bank from the back here. It would like drop down the whole thing. About it have like everything that you wanted to, and now you can't do it because they've locked it off. It, since this is technically the tutorial, so I can't share anything 
with my future selves anymore. Which is so sad, you know. I don't H-A-T-E-3-K even... H-A-T-E-3-K says, you still can. Well, if I, um... What was it? Select a small crap. Get out of there. Let's see. Get out of the ship. Where is it? Leave ship interior. Thank you. Starbucks is so tiny. Did they ever show that in the original series? I know they went to like the Earth or whatever, but it was like a weird background. Docket station. Bartender. H A T E three K says, tiny station. L O L. Yeah, it's it's H -A -T -E -3K real small. H A T E three K says. But looks great. Ship manager, ship vendor, bartender, that sort of thing. Yeah, I, I like the way it is, you know. And used to, I noticed they've, they've changed it, but it used to have like a static, like a noise filter over it to where it looked, you know, older. And I guess since they're making the new, uh, so except the tables and stuff, that's a little bit big. You know, every, everything's oversized because. Whenever they built all this, they made it kind of kind of huge. Like that dude right there, he kind of tall, man. He kind of tall. But he's also sitting in a chair. And she's really tall as well. But uh yeah, you know. All right. I mean, you can still um uh, do a few things, and I I think they're going to actually cut a few things out too for whenever they release the 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 temporal agent thing. I mean, since my main character is already one of those, I just I, I wish you know they had more content all the time for the past. I mean, sure you can use the time travel like episode arcs or whatever in the game to visit the bridge of the Enterprise in the past and whatever, you know, and battle with them with your ship or something, but it's not the same as actually just being in the past and experiencing the game through the past like that. That would be kind of awesome. And you notice how, like, slow you travel around in the past, too. Like, uh, your ship just takes a lot longer to get everywhere versus now when you have a tune in the so-called present slash future. Um, you can just like transwarp everywhere and get there a lot quicker. <laughs> it's like everybody in the future got impatient. I got to be there now. Today I took a premium content token and TC copy. My main test server six times and tied all of them ships. Alright, okay. Bubba I do ready or die y'all. Mm -hmm. Let's clear the off here. Enemy targets on sensors. Enemy targets on sensors. Form of a hawk. Oh man. Some pack lightning knocked those guys right out. I love it. Some pack for the win, yo. Enemy targets on sensors. There's a drunk Jim Hadar. Jim Hadar. Jim Hadar. H A T E 3 K says, Is that a KDF engineer? Yeah. Dressed as uh, original series garments. Ushanka. Named after a Russian hat. I'm guessing they'll probably send me a thing about, You can't name it that. <laughs> It's called getting butt hurt. Since they want me to rename my main ship for my main character, the Crapper Prize. I don't know why like they would like send something out like years later saying, "Hey, you can't have it like that." 
I'll be like, oh yeah. H-A-T-E-3-K says, nice. H-A-T-E-3-K says, which species? It's a uh, Klingon. Full, full blown female Klingon. Cling on me. When you're not strong. Whoops. You know, the humanoid Klingons. <laughs> the low budget Klingons, we'll call it that. And, um, she has with her. H A T E 3 K says, wouldn't have guessed. You got Kagan. H-A-T-E-3-K says, thought it was a Orion. Yeah. Since this is Kagan, he's the original, like, second in command you always have whenever you're Klingon or whatever. But I turned him into a humanoid as well. You see, uh, see, Klingon. Yushanka, Klingon. Then we got Timmy. <laughs> he's a... His his backstory is he's uh I, I don't think I na yeah I did okay right here see Timmy was in the shower when he was suddenly beamed to the bridge of his captain's says, ship. LOL. Having nothing but a towel on board, Timmy now must run around almost completely naked until he finds clothes along the way. Yeah, it's it's a uh, a teenage Gorn that was playing video games, went and took a shower. And um, as soon as he's stepping out of the shower, they beam him aboard because you know they force you to, to be in the, the in, in in battle you know, if you're Klingon side, you know, civilian and all that. So Timmy got drafted, and uh, he refuses to wear anything until they find him some clothes. So he just wears a towel and, and slippers. <laughs> T Timmy the Gorn. <laughs> and it was something I was trying to like rename Kagan or get rid of him or something and I couldn't so I was like eh, just make him a humanoid Klingon from TOS era I mean I could do the whole clothing thing like the change outfit to uh well I'm already at TOS so change H -A -T -E outfit says, Shunka. you can get rid of him so this is the the original Yushanka now, you know, like. But uh, change -A -T -E -3K outfit. Three K says, just won't be able to get him back again. Right, and I forget it. He's like a basic officer, right? No, he's he's uh okay, yeah, he's got superior. So I guess I do. Need, I'm always going to keep him anyway. He's been very loyal. He's not tried to take over the ship or kill me or something like that. So, you know, plot against me. H A T E three K says, "What superior traits does he have?" Let's see. Superior honor. H A T E three K says, "Any of them space?" Superior health. Superior st sturdy. So he has uh, ground trait, toxic damage resistant ground trait, and physical resistance H -A -T -E -3K ground trait. H A T E three K says, "All ground." Yeah, so that's why I use him on the ground. He sucks in space, but he's okay in, on ground. He's a ground-fighting warrior. I guess Klingons mostly are. I don't... Klingons? Alright, where's the cat? How's the capture going for this? It's not going at all, so we're going to shift over to another instance. But it's it's the default, Kagan. I guess he's the same like traits and stuff. I don't know. I hadn't figured it out yet. Which one of you officers is new? I need to come over here with. Song pack lightning. Heck, what was it? Uh, even I think on the TOS character, you can also access the store, like the the lithium -A -T -E store, and reclaim says, stuff. None of my KDFS have Cajun. Really? H A T E three K says, "L O L." Hmm. 
Well, I guess it depends on what kind you start out with. If he's like a, a default guy or something. HATE3K says, yet yeah, I got rid of him. <laughs> kind of like how I do a lot of my characters. When I'd start them, like, uh, for instance, my Michael character, I deleted the whole crew. Like, you know, like, just discarded every one of them. Where it was just me and the ship and that was it. And that's how the ship became, like, my first officer. Uh, <laughs> but I have eventually started getting, like, crew members. HATE3K says, KGEN is a default bridge officers of KDF characters. Okay. Could he, is he, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I promoted him all the way. I don't know if there's a reason not to promote all the bridge officers. Because if you don't, then you don't get their, like, special stuff, you know, for the ground. I mean, it's not like you're going to, you're going to go down there with, like, a cadet, you know, on, on ground battle. Kagan died. Timmy, go save Kagan. Timmy doesn't like Kagan. Timmy wants to play. Timmy likes his fluidic gun. Timmy talks in Toy Python. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Lachi taking care of it. Timmy go... Oh, he will not wake up Kagan ever for no reason. I don't understand. I have a lot of, like, ground player, you know, uh, bridge officers and my other characters and stuff, and they'll... As soon as somebody goes down, they'll go over there and they'll, they'll help them up or whatever. Not Timmy. He does not like Kagan. I guess they've given him grief or something. I don't know. Timmy the Gorn. He's not even built like a like a full blown Gorn either. He's like kind of, like kind of like under underdeveloped little couch potato kind of thing. You know, he doesn't really have that many muscles. Learned to shoot a gun by playing video games. <laughs> Timmy the Gorn. He done Gorn got himself shot. Let's see. Says there. 72. So tomorrow I will put that into the dilithium exchange to eventually get some dilithium exchanged into Zen. Maybe. Depending. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's in the right position now. We can do this. Oh man, it didn't. It worked against me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> he blocked it. He cock blocked it. Now I gotta wait for that to be over with. Unless. Maybe Stuck will work. I doubt it. Stuck will attempt in 10 seconds. Because usually you can do that and like push him out of the way. Yay, stuck work that time. That's good. All right. Because you can get behind him with that shield and push him away from his space, and he'll get all front panicky and run over here and try to jump back into it, and he'll walk around with his arms swinging and jumping around. And it's hilarious to watch. I just like to I, I like to, to pick on uh, Commander Arnold. Since he just gives order to get out there and actually do anything. More gah. Wow. Personal. There. There. And not there. Okay. Oh, execute. I'm never going to execute an officer. It means I have to get rid of crew members that I don't know if I need or not yet because I hadn't spent time with this person. Huh. I wonder if they would add, like, for the temporal agent thing, what if they added Klingons to that? You know, the TOS Klingons. With, like a little story mission of their own. Wouldn't that be interesting? That'd be interesting. I would probably end up getting one of those. <laughs> Whistle when you talk. 
whistle like Captain James Tiberius Kirok. Five hundred oh no fifty thousand energy credits for doing this. H A T E three K says, I hope they add more species for recruit. Me too. I don't know. I've I've read a little bit, just just maybe the main page for that, and they don't really give any kind of detail. I guess they're just gonna hold it as a surprise or something. Seventy-two. There. And forty-eight. That'll do it. That'll knock her out of the park, won't it, right there? Plan. Plan. Hmm. Level nine. Got to get to that. Don't want to jump to ten. So... Do I have enough ships to do that? 115, so yeah, I can do that. Kaboom! H-A-T-E-3-K says, I have feeling in not going to same as the first one. Yeah, I wonder what they're taking out. Because they mentioned something about taking H -A -T -E -3 certain things out says, of it. And prob no free character slot. H-A-T-E-3-K says, either... I'm hoping they do the free character slot. I mean, they did it for Gamma and I think Delta. But if they don't do it for that and expect players to actually have to buy through Zen, there's going to be a lot of pissed off people. Six of ten. Alright, let's see if I can get this one. Just grab up a bunch of stuff here. H A T E 3K says, yes. I'm gonna have a lynch mob out there on the forums and in the game. Everybody's gonna start like uh, get their ship and start shooting stuff. H A T E three K says they did that for the first Delta and Gam recruit event. I mean that that's how I got my Gamma recruit and my Delta it was because it was like flashing up there one day, you know, because I thought, well, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna have to save up some Zen or something. And H A um, T E three K you know. says, but not rare lays and for K D F recruit. All right, we're done with this character, so we can change over to my main character. My main one. And here comes the fun. Let's see if they've renamed my ship for me. Someone still loves you. Yep, look at that. Bad name one one eight three five nine three one eight. Wow. H A T E three K says L O L. H A T E three K says, just put the name back again. That's insane. Bad name. That's what we've done. We've become a bad name. So there they wouldn't like there wouldn't be any backlash from that? Anyway, I'm, I'll deal with that later. Um, I'm still going to call it the Crapper Prize. They can't make me not say that. H-A-T-E-3-K says, I don't see that ship name is bad. I don't see it either. It's insane. <laughs> Someone totaled... Uh, H-A-T-E-3-K says, what is bad about Crapper Prize? I don't know. It's, uh, I mean, I mean, let me show you, like, uh, 
My, some of my other ship names down here. <laughs> we go to manage. Manage ships. I got the USS Bidet, which is a crapper. You know, it's a toilet. The lavatory. Toilet prize A. Toilet prize D. Toilet prize E. And dry dock, the latrine. Toilet prize, toilet plunger. Outhouse. So, I, I, I don't get it. The word crapper. Perhaps I need to change my ship back to something H-A-T-E 3K says, LOL toiled prize. Yeah. Maybe I could, yeah, I'll, I'll change it to that. H-A-T-E 3K says, funny. There you, yes. Let's see, I wonder if it'll let me change it to that. Because, um... Well, well let, me, let me go back into the, the ship thing here. The managed ships. Um... Toilet prize A is technically H -A -T -E -3K still. H A T E three K says it should. Because in the in here, see my light cruiser, which is the the one that I started off with a long time ago. Like the second ship I ever got was the the, the light one, which is this you know twelve thousand uh, hull or whatever. And since I've actually replaced it with the one I'm using now, mm, maybe. Bad name. Sad face. USS Toilet Prize. Oh, they even changed my, my, my number for it, too. 1702. So I had 02 because, uh... See, look. It didn't let me. You already have a ship or bridge officer with that name. If I kind of change the name in here, then let me activate that. Rename toilet prize uh, dot old. How about that? <laughs> like a like a file name. Bad name. Oh my god, look! They changed my little one too. My little one was called the Pooper Scooper. H A T E 3K says, What OMG? That's, that's insane. Somebody just does not have a sense of humor. <laughs> That's so sad. H A T E three K says, Yup. Toilet Prize is back, baby. <laughs> that is so, so sad. Oh, I need to give this thing a trait. That's right. What was that? I mean, I mean you know, it wouldn't be that bad if I just changed it and named it that, and then like a few days later, like, oh, can't do that. But since I had it that way for years, <laughs> that's what's funny. Increase through follow say theta radiation infuse maneuvers. Uh sniper long range damage. I like that. We're gonna do that one. Okay, the status. H A T E three K says, I wonder how does the TOS theme look on Gamma character? H A T E three K says, is it any good? The gamma character? Hmm. Let's see, we're gonna save that one to there. I'll, I'll get uh, around to that um, just to see. I mean, it'd be a Jim Hadar, right? Just kind of like my other Jim Hadar. Uh, what's some of the endeavors tonight? We can we can actually get a perk from that. Storm the Spire Universal. Storm the Spire -E Mission K West. says, "They'll try it out when I get to my jam tune." Sweet. 
Use the Task Force Operations menu to queue up Storming the Spire. Okay. Storming the Spire. Right there. It should be fairly quick because... Let's see, and also Voth's ship starts to sphere. HATE3K says, I noticed something today when I saw that Universal. Oh? HATE3K says, it has three day time limit. Huh. I usually try to get them done as fast as I can. There was one of them that uh, it had like a year or whatever. They accidentally put the wrong type, like information in, and it was like a year and like seven months or whatever like that. And like, yeah, we had plenty of time to get that one done. HATE3K <laughs> says, but the last one, which was a competitive one, only had two day time limit. HATE3K says, some even have one day only. HATE3K says, odd. Yeah. I think it's just whoever, like, adds the event. They can probably just decide how many days or whatever like that. And Of course, there's, you know, been a lot of glitches lately about dates anyway. You know, like the, um, the one we, is it the one we're currently doing? It said it was for the 13th or something before. It was like the August 13th through the 16th, and um, the time that day, those days had already passed, but it was a brand new event, and everybody was like, "Well, how are we going to do the event if it's already done?" You know. Well, Toilet Pride's back in action. Kaboom! You bought people will never understand what a captain has to go through here. I'll destroy all you vow before you take over my ship. Bye. Well, this is technically the Dyson Sphere, right? <laughs> I mean, it says destroy Voth ship's Dyson Sphere over here in the Endeavors. This is technically that. But I bet it doesn't count. Because why would it? Doesn't make sense, does it? That, the Dyson Sphere. Storm of the Spine. Must have sparked damage report. Spawn. Satter, we've engaged the enemy. HATE3K says, let's hope it counts. Well, so far I've defeated a few Voth ships and I haven't seen it happen. That's sad. But, you know, we get to keep playing and doing more. I mean, the Iconian TFO in itself is going to, like, you know, be a long one because uh, you got to do three individual ones of those. And now since you have to uh, use dilithium to buy passes, I'm not I'm not going to buy any passes with dilithium. I'd rather attempt to get Zen to that. My goal is to try to get up to that. Um, what is it? Is it eight thousand Zen with a that discount or something? Which I highly doubt that I'm going to be able to do that within a few days. Because I, I, I can't. HATE3K says, Yeah, that was dick move they did. It's because they want us to have to buy it for real. The want, the want of it is going to push a lot of people to buy Zen in order to get that. TOS stuff because there's a severe lack of original series content on this game if you think about it. I mean you have like little things, you have these the ships and stuff but there's nothing new of TOS like you know after the three year mission which was supposed to be five year and it got cancelled they probably had an idea to 
like have different ships that you would see on screen and all this other stuff. I mean, they had the the plans to uh, change the ship over to a, like a half refit anyway, like the one you see in the motion picture versus uh, the one that's from the series. They were going to change the nacelle design and and all that kind of stuff and update it, and eventually it would be the refit ship, like once the series was over. But the series got canceled before it could ever be over. Which is why you could, uh, I think, what is it on here, the legendary uh, version of the original series ship, the Constitution class, you can actually put those nacelles there as how, how they intended it with drawings and stuff from back in the past. Looks more a little aerodynamic, but I, I kind of like the whole like uh, H A T three K says one hundred and twenty dollars for the legendary bundle. Are they crazy? That's what's going on. It's it's like whenever they had the um, the first legendary bundle for three hundred dollars. I mean, it was thirty thousand zen. So yeah, twelve thousand zen is uh, what they want for that. So yeah, that's a hundred and twenty. That's just, that's just, that is crazy. It's insane. I don't see why people would pay that much for stuff like that. That would mean like, uh... k says, I'm glad I still haven't spent a single penny in stone. Right? I've never spent my own money, that's for damn sure. I mean, that gift card, that was about it. But... So that would mean that technically, what, a thousand um, Zen is a hundred dollars in real life. So six hundred Zen is like sixty dollars. Well, is, is there a way we can convert that <laughs> Zen back into cash? <laughs> Could you see that happening? Like you have dilithium. Turn it into Zen and turn it into real money, because <laughs> the opposite direction is, you know, cash Zen dilithium. H A T E three K says, when I used to play Blizzard games, I spent lot money. H A T E three K says, ended up regretting it now. Yeah, that's one of my like concerns about spending money in a game. You know, you may think, okay, well, I've unlocked this, I bought this, I have it H -A -T -E -3K done. H A T E three K says. So decided no more paying for in-game content. Yeah. Because you can, like, buy whatever, and what, what, you know, if the game just decides, okay, we're done, we're, we're canceling the game, it's over. Well, you've put, a, like, real money into that, you know. It's, it's almost like, um, what was it, Microsoft, H-A-T-E 3K um, says, but I understand why some like to spend. Yeah, I mean, if you got the money to spend and blow on it and it doesn't affect you, yeah, but those of us who don't, you know. Um, but Microsoft, back when they had the games for Windows -E Live. E 3K says, do what you make you happy that what matters. Exactly, yeah. You know, they had game for Windows Live and, you, you know, you buy the games and they're like, what, 50, 60 bucks or something or sometimes on sale for 20 and you would unlock them, play them like, uh, like Batman, uh, Arkham Asylum, that sort of thing. And everything was fine. I mean, you'd even like play, what was that, the arcade um, thing you could do, what, where you can like buy little arcade cabinets and play old games and stuff, emulating. And, and then all of a sudden, Games for Windows Live just was not a thing anymore. You know, and all that money that people paid for the games that they could no longer use because... Once you um, you bought them and activated them, they were yours. But if you didn't keep the activation information, and you like used a different computer, -K yeah, says, exactly. Which I'm I'm grateful that I actually kept the activation stuff for some of my games from Windows Live, and some of them were actually able to transfer over to say Steam, like Batman, or whatever. Um, but a lot of games, you know. I think I even had like a, a GTA 4 or something. It was, it was one of the games for Windows Lives that I, I could not get back. And 
and now that just really pissed me off. But that's that's why I don't I don't do the whole like actually spending money thing because what if that game goes away and you've lost all that content? It's like a, a virtual game that you buy versus a physical copy. There's always a way someone can turn that physical copy into like you can always be able to use thing versus if it's digital and uh, you have to connect the digital to an online like MMO thing, then you're screwed. Just think about like if, if if a major one like WoW in you know, a World of Warcraft, if it just decided one day to just stop, and all those players would be like, what the fuck, you know? Spire Assault. And my goodness, you know, hats off to those people that actually buy the Zen. HATE 3K says, everything will end eventually. Yes, it will. That's the, the main constant of everything. This game will end. A new, new something of a game will begin. Um, life will end. Universe, that sort of thing. Be a sad moment. We'll never know, and that's the only sad thing about most of it, too. I feel like I'm just running around pressing spacebar. Just waiting for this to be over here. Huh. <laughs> Look at this person's ship, Gornzilla. <laughs> I love it. People can be so creative with names. <laughs> and this person right here, Randall W. Scott. I wonder if his name's Randall. Taylor... Silria, Silera, Silera, Silera. Fire, Mr. Cashoff. I need you on the bridge, Captain. The water taking Omega particles from the spire. We need to stop the Omega shadows in the vault dreadnought before they escape. Understood, Mister. We'll stop them. Take a damn shuttle after them. Damn. Shit. <laughs> if you telling me what I need to do, you need to do that yourself. Mister? Stop the Omega shuttle. Alright. Citadel Dreadnought. Dude's going after him. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to go over here too then. Yeah, this wasn't a good idea, sir. Man your post, mister. We're not destroyed just yet. Fire. Fire, Captain. Fire. Go for some back. <laughs> While two of us are over here fighting against this thing. The other people are actually doing the, the damn mission. <laughs> They're like capturing and destroying the shuttles. Optional, okay, it's an optional thing to destroy this dreadnought. It's trying its best, damn it. But we're not gonna let it happen. Well, since we're the captain of the toilet prize, no one's gonna be able to take it from us, mister. Get ready for explosion. We're gonna die here. We're gonna die like officers of the Starfleet. For if it's one thing that we know for sure, Starfleet teaches us everything we need to know to sacrifice ourselves for others and our ship. Great. Somebody put up a Tholian net with me in here with it. Love it. 
Ooh, evasive maneuvers, mister. Get us out of here before we explode. Nice. Nice, nice. Good job, good job. Fire. Escaping shuttle. Nice. Nice, nice. Destroy shuttles. Destroy more shuttles? Bonus? Okay. Banus? Yeah. I'm gonna rename my ship to Cal's Anus. Maybe that'll make him laugh. <laughs> that dude. Murdoch that uh, will sometimes be in here. He um, he came up with that Calzanus thing. Since my, my the text to speech, he just said Calzanus, and it's been sticking in my head the whole time. Like, could you imagine a planetary system where it's called Calzanus Four? We, Mister We, fleet marks as usual. I'm gonna build up that dead fleet if I have to by myself, son of a bitch. Might out, fuck yeah. Okay. Alright, get us out of here. Calzinus. Alright. Are we still our ship now? Toilet prize is back in action, baby. <laughs> Electric people? Sure. Okay. HATE3K says, U75MIL, nice. Oh, for your uh, tour of the galaxy? That's not bad. Win GPL playing Dabo. Destroy Voth ships, Dyson Sphere, complete Iconian TFOs. Okay, so let's go over to play Dabo at, where's the closest place? I think Rise Up. Rise Up, yo. H-A-T-E-3-K says, no, no. H-A-T-E-3-K says, that's how much you have. Oh, oh, you're talking about me. H-A-T-E-3-K says, that's a lot EC. Yeah, I've actually been spending the hell out of it here lately. I, I was at uh, 100 and something um, about last week. But I've been buying up a lot of um, uh, training manuals for a lot of my officers and stuff. Assifers. Assifers. H-A-T-E-3-K says, damn. Yeah. Because I have my photonic spark. Spark, spark, spark. It's. H A T E 3 K says, Scotty, I was out. trying, You're trying to get a lobby ship for I over a year. Okay, Finnegan. Spock. Spock. H A T E 3 K says, and never got it. Which one was it? H A T E 3 K says, then a friend just mailed me one. Sweet. That's pretty awesome. H A T E 3 K says, Husnuck. Husnuck ship? Ah, damn, I clicked the wrong thing. Events, uh, campaign, lobby store. Oh, it doesn't show a picture, damn it. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. <laughs> They've been eradicated, so they're like, eh. Oh, man, it was nice back when I had a lot of lobby. I was able to get like a... Which, which one was it? It was the um, Kelvin Dreadnought, this one. I got like three of those and sold them in the exchange for so much. To, to be able to like get enough energy credits to buy the ship that I use now 
HATE3K says. Nice. Well, right now, all I have is like 140 lobby. I mean, I could choose. HATE3K says, I want to get one of those two. HATE3K says, two. Yeah, I, I just, I didn't know the value of them at the time. I just knew that on the um, exchange, they were selling like for a lot, you know. So I'd buy them from with my lobby, which I collected a lot during the um, events over the years and never really spent any. Because I didn't know what I wanted to spend it on at the time. HATE3K says they have no EC vol. Well, at the time, they, they did have something. You know, I, I was able to, like, trade them off to people. HATE3K says, but players are greedy. Yeah. I, I would undershoot the amount. And um, then I, at that one time, I did win um, one of the discovery ones from the lockbox. And um, someone picked up on it, like, did I actually got that? Because, you know, it flashes across the screen at the top. And someone messaged me, hey, you know, I'll give you, like, this much or whatever for that. And I'm like, okay, sure, because I was wanting this temporal one that I'm using now. And um, so I saved up and got that. Because I didn't think nothing of Discovery at the time, you know. I, I hadn't watched it yet, and I didn't really care much for the design of the ship at the moment. But now I like the ship. You know, it's a pretty cool ship. Run, my goodness. Oh, I don't have my jet pack. That's right, it's still in my bank because I hadn't had it on for this yet for a while. HATE3K <sighs> says, for example, a lockbox trait usually sell for around 5 MIL, but now it's like 5 0 MII. Oh. Lockbox traits. I've got a few locks box, locks. Lockbox traits. I think they're ground, though, so they're not space. What the hell? I'm going over here to do the... <laughs> I go right over to the exchange. We, we, Mr. We, We're having fun. <laughs> spin the wheel and win. Oh, you are a spin the wheel and win, mister. Golly, I win it. New game starts soon. 20,000 million. It's still spinning. That's interesting. City side lights. Busy side lights. Calling all winners. Calling all winners. Ooh. HATE3K says it dropped 5 million. HATE3K huh. says going for 45 million. Let's see. Put it in the middle somewhere. 21 sounds good. Let's put a zero after that. Make it even better. Energy credit. We bet a million. Let's see. Okay, we got it. Cool. Quit. Uncommon personal endeavor activated. Form of a hack. HATE3K says, boo that vengeance you want. Mm. I got zero energy credits in my bank right now. says, it's going for 329 million right now. The vengeance? I got uh, six experimental tokens, 144 lobby, bunch of stuff from the Q Winter Wonder something. Random shit. Uh, HATE3K says, the Kevlin ship. The Kelvin one? Let's see. Exchange. Kelvin? Is that you, Kelvin? Irk. Kelvin Timeline Dreadnought. Yeah, this one here. The one you can get with Lobi. I mean, it's -A -T -E that one. HATE3K says, LOL 12 million for 999 Risa favor. Isn't that, yeah, isn't that crazy? 
I've, I've got a billion of those things myself. I guess I should be selling them. Um, now, the Kelvin Dreadnought uh, Cruiser, I think, is this one here from uh, the Lobby. Lobby store, Lobby store, it's my Lobby store. Yeah, this one here. See, Kelvin Timeline Intel Dreadnought. HAT3K says they were like one million for a stack. Wow. But that's that's how I got a lot of my um, credits to buy the ship that I'm using now. Because as of right now, let's see, let me just type it in exactly. Timeline Intel. The most that this one is selling for or doing is a uh, 1,100,000 dollar or energy credits. The cheapest is the other is the 30. Oh, you already looked at that, didn't you? Damn it. <laughs> That's what you were saying. I'm sorry. H A T E 3K says odd. But that's that's a lot of like how I would get some of my energy credits to buy things. H A T E 3K says, "There we go, LOL." Hmm. All right, got that endeavor. So we're going to destroy Voth ship's Dyson sphere. Gonna beam up to our ship. Mr. Snot, be me aboard so I can go kill some Voth. Mr. Snot. Achoo, sir. Go get a tissue, mister. H-A-T-E-3-K says, that is a lot of tours for 300 mil. That's right. All you gotta do is just, uh, if you got Lobi, you know, bam. H-A-T-E-3-K says, if only doing tour for EC. <laughs> Oh, there's one of them right there. Look at that. <laughs> Those things are everywhere. The super dreadnought ships. Uh, let's see, space, but nope. Ground battle shuttle. And then we'll um, go back to ship, so we'll be right there at the Dyson where we can get the Voth. Viotia. Wolf. Leave battle zone. Hey, yeah. Oh, he phased right through me. I've got a Klingon arm sticking out of me now, mister. Klingon. 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 Kling on me. Let's see. Where can we go to find some Voth? Got to destroy ten ships. Oh, oh. H A T E three K says, I wonder if my friend did her three lookery tifo endeavor for today yet. I don't know. Mine, mine says Iconian, but I know that it always it's different for a lot of people. Fire. Full speed ahead. Give me more power to engines, man. Give me more weapons by. Two, three, destroy those vials. H-A-T-E-3-K says, I just re-rolled them when I get one. I used to do some re-rolling, but now, since it costs dilithium. H-A-T-E-3-K says, but now I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I've been um, kind of preparing for this dilithium shortage or whatever, or Zen shortage thing, because I've... I've tried to stay constant with uh, the endeavors by actually doing them all and not re-rolling to try to get into that habit. And then all of a sudden, now you, you know the, you don't get re-rolls anymore for free. So uh, it kind of works out for me at least because I'm, I'm not gonna get any more re-rolls because mine were automatic, you know, by you doing the endeavor and unpacking them. And you see how well that's doing, anyway, like, for the dilithium sink. It's not doing a damn thing. Oh my god, we're gonna die, mister! She fought well. Her crew died. Again. We keep respawning. These Q people bring us back. And when we die again. 
most of the crew are wondering if they're themselves when they come back to line. HATE3K says, IUSD to reroll Voth ships and lookery endeavors only. USS Columbia. Ooh. Iconian TFOs. Where were the Iconian TFOs yesterday? Yesterday, for me, it was like um, destroy Herald ships, which are the Iconian ships. And I had to, like, you know, go to a, the, the TFO or the story for that. But now today, it's like, ah, let's do some Iconians. I guess we're doing Iconians this month. Four shields failing. Four skins failing. Fire. HATE3K says, you played midnight for that one. Yeah. And, and you know, now it's just the TFOs are popping up saying, now nah, here's the Iconian TFOs. Well, usually it's like, uh, for instance, it'll say, uh, go to, def like, defeat Zinkethi ships or def defeat Zinkethi ground. And it'll have, like, a month of that going on back and forth. And then now it's uh, Iconian this, Iconian that. What about the Ferengi and the Klingon? You just can't find good help these days. Ooh. Why do I have rewards? I don't understand. For what? <laughs> it gave me a reward for something. I don't know. Fire. Destroy everything. Leave no survivors. Two more. One more. Evasive maneuvers. Get away from the battle. Run! Run away! Run away! Run away! Love how some of the torpedoes are like heat seekers. Some of them aren't. All right, round. Okay. So we got that. Now Iconian TFOs. Blother of the Sword, Bug Hunt, Gateway Grethor, Herald Spear. Oh my gosh, these things again! I swear, I just got through doing some of those things not too long ago. Ah, uh, see. Let's see. Let's see what's on here. Bottom of the fourth. Yeah, go ahead. Y'all y'all shoot me all you want to, uh, whatever. Brother of the Sward. Bug Hunt. We'll do that one too. Cue that up. Gateway to Grethor. That's a fun one. H A T E three K says, I D join you, but I'm doing tour ATM. Yeah, well. Do what you gotta do, man. Get some uh some stuff. Harold Spear. Battle of Corn Fez. The Battle of Corn Fez. Corn Fez, the battle. Ooh, elite as well. Okay, we've queued up. Let's see which one of these comes first. Hey, man. How you doing there, bud? Little Voth ships like just spinning around me. He wasn't hurting nobody. The hell, man. <laughs> Human. He's... Human. Alright, here we go. First Iconian TFO of the night morning. The more night. The today night thing person. Oh, I even. H A T E 3K says, O Herald Sphere. Yeah. O Herald, that's right. H A T E 3K <laughs> says, Good luck. Ah, we'll, you know, we'll win. I mean, you can't, you can't really lose. I mean, 
I guess you could if you morally lost, but... <laughs> Harold. Old Harold. Blink. The Gateway Network gives the Herald tactical superior. The plan is. All right. A little encouragement. Emotes. Track fire onto me. Let's go take care of these Glingons. Emergency power. Photons. Everything. Throw it all at them, mister. Attack all of these ships. Let them know we mean business. Send out the Methuselah drone. But, sir, send it out, mister, I said. <laughs> Tilted the eyebrow by Spock. Our rear is failing. We can't let our rear fail. It's the only thing holding us together. Boom. Federation Science was. What's it doing? It's scanning for no reason. The heralds are destroyed. Get to our gateway. And enter the sphere. Enter the gateway. The Herald Sphere. Welcome to here. You're not stopped there. Berberty berberty. Uh huh. Stop the Herald forces. Gateway opening at one o'clock. Gateway opening at seven o'clock. Gateway opening at eight o'clock. Well, we might want to get near a TV then. <laughs> How does that Klingon know what time it is? Mm, quantum phase torpedoes are good. I love them. Fire. Emergency power to win shield. Let's take on all of them. Kill all these Klingons. These people here. We're trying to save them, but they just don't want to be saved. Every time we move in, they move out. Gateway opening at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Gateway opening at 12 o'clock. Prepare everything. Get everything going here. Get ready on my mark. Fire. HATE3K says, do you use keybind? No, I do not. I haven't really the clue how to even start using it. But I've never really taken any of it seriously, I guess. <laughs> I just like pound the hell out of the space bar. Three o'clock. Might have time for a burger. <laughs> we get to choose. HATE3K says. So how do you use all your abilities during TIFO? Um, I probably don't, I guess. I mean, I just whatever's showing up here on the screen, it's, I like, kind of click on it and just go, you know, go with the flow, yo. Fire. Fire. Gateway opening at two o'clock. 
show them what we're made of. Mr. Spock has it a minute. Cash up. Torpedo. Attack pattern beta. HATE3K says, Amanuel. Yeah, I'm all about me. Because I have no clue actually what I'm ever doing in the game. I don't even know what I'm going to do next. I have no strategy. But just to shoot and kill. That's it. Kill all. Kill it all. Ask questions later. Take all necessary action to do so. Boom. Optional objective, less than 15 ships, escape 15, 15. Oh, oh we're supposed to make sure stuff doesn't ex escape? Okay. I didn't know that. I wasn't even paying attention over there. Like the senile captain. Boom 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 We need to stop the Herald attack on Allied space. Get through that gateway. Harold, is that you, Harold? Um hmm. We, 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 we. My ship appears to be stuck inside of this thing. I can't seem to go through. All right. was waiting for me to manually move my ship in order to use the animation. <laughs> Broken? <laughs> I love seeing my ship come out of there with everybody else's. <laughs> everybody else has these like super advanced looking ships and here I am with my little TOS Constitution class. I've even had it before, like when I was in a different stream, or you're like watching a stream, and they needed players to, uh, you, know, you know, come on there and like fill the spots or something for whatever they're doing. I came over there and I, I, I in the background on their screen, I was going backwards in my ship at full impulse, which is a little trick that I don't know how I can do it, and sometimes it just works. And they said, uh, yeah, oh, the crapper prize, you burned that ship over here. And they were like, oh, it's it's a constitution class. Like, yeah. <laughs> says, LOL. And uh, they said, uh, hey, so-and-so, can you invite um, the little constitution class ship? And they said, a constitution class? What? <laughs> yeah. And, then, and I did real well. I didn't, like, I didn't die during the whole thing. I ended up capturing and like a, like a majority of a lot of things because they saw how fast my little tiny ship was. Because I had it geared up mostly for uh, impulse, you know, like foot to the uh, or pedal to the metal and all this kind of stuff. So they they, they really enjoyed that and invited me back to do it again one day. <clears throat> and I said, "What are you talking about, little my little piece of ship?" It may be crap, but it's still my toilet that I use. You ready? To... I just imagine this captain, you know, my, my captain on here. Dur during the battle, he has to go take a ship. He's like, all right, first officer, Mr. Spock, you take care of the helm. I'm going to be away for a moment. All right, captain. You know? <laughs> just continue to fight them and... I'll be back later. Or it could be that like his his main chair he sits in is actually a toilet. Yeah. 
I mean, I've, I've been trying to get the criticals up on my little tiny ship. Because at first glance, whenever they see the ship like this, they're like, okay, well, it must be that little 12,000 hull ship, you know. They don't think about the legendary, which I don't have. But this is closest as it can get to a legendary ship. I mean, it's got the same type of... Uh, scale to it, you know, from parameters, the hull is the same, the few consoles are different, the weapon arrangement is pretty much the same, but I just love it, I love the old original look. <clears throat> My god, man. He's dead, you. <clears throat> Check it out. Another one? Oh my gosh, this TFO is nothing about just going through gateways. Oh, the Kobayashi Maru. All right, sweet, sweet, into gateway, and I'm lead the pack. <laughs> Quick, everyone, this way. Me first. We're back in the sphere again. Taking out on the the hero. Destroy the ship. You will destroy the ship, and I will help you. The ship is drawing power from the gateways. You need to shut the gates down, or we won't be able to destroy it. Roger. If I could get out of here, evasive maneuvers to get out of that tractor beam. Fire. It wants me to destroy the gate. Okay. Good work. I, I didn't do anything. This will not cripple the echo news, but it will. Oh, okay. Ooh. I mean, I, I didn't do nothing. It said disable the gateways. I, I went after a gateway, then the, then it was over, and and I, I don't know. I, I didn't do anything. But I'm going to take credit for it, damn it. We just returned back from one of the Iconium TFOs. Disable the Herald's beer. Why? Why? Why am I getting that now? I mean, <laughs> I've done that before. I, I I don't know. Maybe it didn't count last time. All right. So we need to load up with some more. Which ones? What were they? And why? Okay, there's my endeavors. Okay, Brother of the Sword, Bug Hunt. I think Bug Hunt's fun. Uh, let's see, Bug Hunt Advanced. Let's queue that one up. Uh, where did that one? No, no. Gateway to Graythor. Let's see. And I can't forget to do the Kobayashi Maru simulation either. I did that one time and I, that set me back a day, I think. But I think tonight's the one whenever I actually get the event uh, completed. Yeah, so I can do it twice to get more dilithium as well. Yeah, because if you do it one time after you did it, or you, you get the full thing, then you can do it again, again, you know, to get eight like eight eight thousand dilithium. Battle of Corfez. I'm gonna go battle some Corfez. It's in a cornfield where Corfez is. H A T E three K says, Wow, how did finish right now? I don't know. It said defeat the gateways. And as I was going to. H-A-T-E-3-K says, I'm still a few days from finishing it. Oh, you mean that? I don't, I don't know. I just I just kept going. H-A-T-E-3-K says, has it been 14 days? Uh, let's see. Uh, it ends September 14th at 12 p.m. Whatever. I guess the time over there where, like, what is it? Uh, West Coast? Pacific? Maybe. Because I've been doing it daily. When did it start? I forget. Oh, wait. This is the event that didn't have an actual real start date, did it? Because it says, like, uh, it, it was, like, 8.13 to 8.16. And this was, like, uh, that was, what, August? 
it's been going on for about right right after it was it was Tuesday of some it, it was a Tuesday or someone said it was a Tuesday what if it wasn't a Tuesday hmm it started a week after it said the 13th and 16th so if you look at a calendar Toilet prize is back, baby. The toilet prize, prize of toilets, sitting. The invasion of Kronos has begun, but we will not fall. All right, the toilet prize. Dan 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 dan. Kaboom. Or fluff. No. Me, me, me. That's all about me. H A T E three K says, I love this Tifo. Me, clear the shipyard, clear it out, attack everything. Kill all the Klingons. I mean, heralds. Kill all the herald Klingons. H A T E three K says, wish players didn't just focus on killing the raids. Herald reinforcements are inbound. Fire! Fire! Damn it, Mister! I can't see what I'm doing here. The shipyard is secure. Impulse power. Shwaf. How fast is my impulse? Nah, it doesn't say. 250.96. I guess it's fast. Yum. Fire. I kind of love how this just drives around so awkwardly. I press right, it goes left sometimes. And now I'm completely out of range. <laughs> Kaboom! Cinematic view engaged! I'd like to know where all these damn phaser fire actually comes from from this ship. I know it comes from down there. But we're on top, though. I'm firing it out of my ass. Anybody got a clue what I'm doing? Have no clue what I'm doing. Just playing a line, singing a song. It's still like, uh, got a green something right here. What is this? It's like a little loop. What do you like, fly through that? The troop transports from the starbase are moving toward the planet. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Anyway, are we supposed to like protect him or uh all right. Ooh. Those gateways are emitting intense levels of theta radiation. Close them. Not theta radiation. We don't want a theta hulk. We got gamma radiation hulk. What about theta radiation hulk? H A T E three K says, main goal is here is to close the green portals. Roger. H A T E three K says, A K A radiation portals. Radiation. H A T E three K says, everything in irrelevant. Arctic Knight says, 
close the radiation ones. Hi, Arctic. The troop transports from the Starbase. Arctic Knight. A shadowy flight to the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Close spawning gateway. I'm glad you can get shot at and still close H -A -T -E it. HATE3K says, but most just like to focus on killing the raiders. Huh. Arctic Knight says, you can park between two and just shot and close portals. Hmm. Huh. Invasive maneuvers to get over there quicker. I would think if you, like, shut the portals down, that would prevent them from coming through, wouldn't it? Close spawning portal. The troop transports from the Starbase are moving toward the planet. Kaboom! Another one. Let's attack them with all phaser fire. Phasers on my mind. Ooh. It said close and I ran away from it. Radiation. Dr. David Banner, physician, scientist. An accidental overdose of gamma radiation, man. <laughs> Owen Wilson stars in the, the Hulk. From the Starbase are moving toward the planet. But why? Fire. Take all necessary action care and report to you. Senior staff, report to me immediately. These portals tend to be closing rather quickly. As soon as I close one, another one shows up. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I supposed to close them the or shoot them? From the ah, we overshot. Heading toward the planet. Heading toward the planet. The heading toward the planet. Heading toward the planet. Splink. Ah, close another. Ah. The troop transports from the Starbase are moving toward the planet. They're moving toward the planet. They're moving. They're moving. Moving toward the planet. You could probably put some dubstep with that too. You know, it really sound fun. Hey, yo! What are they doing? Heading toward the planet. Gonna go stop them? No, why? Because they're heading toward the planet. Fire. HATE3K says 20 million. 20 million. The troop transports from the Starbase are moving toward the planet. HATE3K says, for what I wonder. 20 million. 20 million what? You're heading toward the planet. Yo ho ho. HATE3K says, in zone chat. Oh, 20,000 million? Oh, I don't know. That's That was from, uh. Ah, damn it. I pressed the wrong button. That's from whenever I was over at the, um. ESD a while ago. It's still, like, hovering there. Uh, electric people? Injury ships damage people? I don't know. The troop transports from the Starbase are moving toward the planet. Moving and moving and moving toward the planet. Guy can't say anything else. He's got dementia. 
He has to repeat himself. It's okay, Grandpa. We've got you. The bathroom's over there. Fresh toilet paper for you on your left. A herald dreadnought has... H-A-T-E-3-K says, is that even accurate number? 20,000 million? Probably not. <laughs> it's probably just somebody goofing off. Dread not, for I am here. Boom. Fire. Attack that dreadnought, mister. Focus all firepower on that dreadnought. They're moving, they're moving, they're moving down the planet. HATE3K says, glad I have zone chat turned off. HATE3K says, LOL. Yeah, usually I have it minimized if I'm like doing something like this. But I forgot it was there. I don't really pay much attention to it. Unless I'm actually like at a place that requires it. I mean, even though I'm in a team, it's not like we're going to talk to each other, strategize or anything like that. We're just destroying shit. <laughs> Target shields have failed. Everyone's failed. Failure everywhere. Two of three. Leave me up. Crapper prize out. I wish I could change the, uh, the warp animation in order to flash or whatever. I don't remember ever really going to physical warp back in the day. Alright, time to queue up another one. Which ones did we do already? We did Gateway to Grethor and Herald Spear. So Bug Hunt, Brotherhood of the Sword, and Battle of Cor Fez. Alright. So Battle of Corn Fez. And uh Brotherhood of the Sword and Bug Hunt. Let's see which one. Oh, we got one already. Wow, man. Wow. Neat. Scotty, get us out of here. You're no god to me, mister. I am Kirok. Okay, Finnegan. Spot the alarm. I love MST3K. Rift tracks. Alright. Any day now. HATE3K says. I noticed that Bug Hunt and Brother of Sword are more common than other for Aishin and TOF. Come! Come! <laughs> Come! I've, rem I've done both of those, I think, but I can't remember exactly what they are. Because I don't, like, do them in, like, a nightly basis. And I don't even know which one I'm going to right now. SLUDG3 says, Swift Rage. <laughs> HATE3K says, What was that? What was what? Which way did it go? Ah, here we go. Which one are we loading? Let's see. Multiple choice. <gasps> Ooh, ground Welcome battle. To Pariah 3. Hi. I'm Lieutenant John Vanderveer. Okay. I'll be a demolitions expert on gotcha. This Good for you, man. Good for you. I'll take lead on this one, mister. You stay back here, Lieutenant. I'm an Admiral, after all. Let's get my Tommy gun out. HATE3K says, that loud noise. Loud noise? Kirk yelling con? <laughs> HATE3K says, sounded like Ken. It may have been. I think someone may have played it. I do have it underneath this stream in a little box down there, the little 
sound thing that I've been adding to. I want to add uh, McCoy, adding his dead gem, you know. But I can't seem to find a clear version of it. He's alive, Jim. Can I kill him? He's dead, Jim. Jim, he's dead. For crying out loud, man, he's dead. Fire. Me first. No better bug hunt than killing Tholians. H A T E three K says, "Love McCoy." Heck yeah. He may not have had a big role in a lot of the movies, but you know he was there for for comic relief, I guess. And in uh, you know the Voyage Home, he did have that. A hospital scene that was straight up his alley. We've got to go through this wall, everybody. I want in there now. I can't wait. Someone, please. Fire in the hole! Open the damn thing up. Yes. Fire. Fire. Oh, we're waiting for you. Piece of clear. shit! You damn man, you need to hurry the hell up, mister. There's aliens in there. We've got to destroy them. You have to help. Where are they? Fire. Hey Sludge, what's up? Welcome to the party. The parody. Ooh. The hell Fire is that? In the hole. Fire in the hole. Clear to proceed. Methuselah drone wants to kill some shit. Let's get him out there. Are you nomad? Yeah, you say you're nomad, but you're not nomad, are you, little guy? I want to kill all these Klingon bugs. I don't trust Klingon. SLUDG3 says, I'm doing well, hope you dudes are good. We alright. We fine, we alright, we doing. As I was uh, telling Hate3K earlier, even showed it, uh, I got a, a message from. Uh, Arc Games that my ship name of Crapper Prize was against Terms of Service. So they renamed it to Bad Name and a Number, so I had to rename it. After a whole year, and, a, and so, uh, like over a year, using Crapper Prize as my ship name, they finally said, hey, no, you can't have that. <laughs> Fire. Loby. Hello there, little guy. Loby. SLUDG3 says, can't believe you've damaged the Star Trek brand like this. Yes, isn't it? It's so, it's so bad. I mean, Hate3K said, just name it back, you know. So I, I don't know if, if I did that, they'd be like, no! You know. No! Ooh. Fire in the hole! I have to get in there. I have to get in there. So I just uh, renamed it to one of my old names that I used. I don't know what's waiting for us at the bottom. So it's, it's the toilet prize again that I used to have. Maybe that won't get... Uh... And, and even my little tiny ship that I recently got, um, like a little escort or whatever, and it was named Pooper Scooper, the USS Pooper Scooper. Well, that's against it too, so... We had, to, we had to leave that one alone as well. SLUDG3 says, Lols, they will remove that one two once it gets reported. Well, it shouldn't get reported. I mean, why would it? It doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm thinking maybe that dude that was uh, constantly annoying me, you know, maybe he did.
the dude that I helped uh, level up because he said he lost his account and uh, had to start over and needed somebody to help him level his ship up but whenever you go into the H-A-T-E-3-K stuff H-A-T-E-3-K says you now how cryptic are but whenever I uh, went in to help him he would just sit back and go I'll let you According capture all this and I'll just the get the reward for it give me a moment, I'll clear so a I, I did a few of the missions and stuff and then when I was Fire doing the shuttle all. mission he noticed my shuttle wasn't as advanced Watch as my ship was step. was disappointed and then um, I was just joking around you know like uh, H-A-T-E-3-K says they continue to ruin Star Trek, but don't care as long they're making money off it. Right. But I was just joking around and playing the, the map, and he said, I'm just going to sit back and let you do all of the work. And I'm like, okay, um, whatever. So I started telling some jokes and playing around. And he said, could you stop joking and just do it and get it over with? i got to go to bed. And I'm like, oh, okay. I think I can get us across. So, oh, a minor concussion. Nice. I got a minor concussion. Happy. So then I, I started, like, ignoring what he was, like, doing. Every time he'd come on, I'd, like, you know, he'd, he'd invite, say, hey, hey you know, I need help. I need help. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm not helping. You know, I told him, I said, I'm not helping tonight. And um, so he kept on, like, doing the team invite spamming. And I would, I just, I, I decline it every time. And then finally, I put him on my ignore list. And then uh, got to where, I, then I de unfriended him and stuff, and he got all mad. And then I muted him in my, uh, in the chat, for the, uh, the stream. And he tried to go harass somebody else into helping him. I truly wanted to help the dude though, like actually get his stuff back. But he didn't want to help me help him. He just wanted to sit back and let me do all the work. So I was like, nah. What are we fighting against? Fire. So I'm guessing he'll like rewatch a lot of this stuff too. Probably change his name or use a different Twitch to like watch or something. Mm -hmm pretend or whatever. But I don't know. He said, uh, goodbye and good riddance. You know, so, okay, whatever. <clears throat> Ooh. This is it. The center of the high. The center of the high. V. Fire. Run. Oh, everybody want to run faster? Well, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that either. I cannot stop. Ew. Run. I love the lunge kick. It's so Kirk. <laughs> Very rare and per personal endeavor rewarded. Nice. I'm gonna get fleet marks again. Power sales, good. Yeah. H A T E three K says, "Man, I wish I had lead foot." Lead foot's great when you're in your ship. Bug hunt, got that. I try to make my ship um, H -A -T -E -3K as fast as I can. Says, Forgot how slow sector space travel is. Yeah, I've I've tried to actually increase mine over the years, like the the ship straight uh, traits or whatever. Where where is it? Lead foot right there. Impulse and slipstream bonus. I've seen somebody go off like a shooting star though, like super fast traveling. Mine goes up to about um, what's well, it? Impulse, so it's not going to show. Or maybe it, it will. It's it's usually it's 56 point something uh, trans warp speed, and if someone passed me up going three times that that speed one time, and I was like, how the hell? Because <laughs> it looked like a shooting star just went like, Phew, and they were gone. Like what? I've seen a lot of weird stuff though in this game. Players that can kill 
the V-Rex dino with one one flash from their arm and just disappear. Like they'll, they'll run and and all of a sudden you'll see the other one go down. Damn, I didn't mean to do that. You'll, you'll see like another one go down and you'll run into that zone and they'll run away from it as if they were already there like three times as fast as you ever were. Because I followed one dude one time when I was a, one of my alternate characters. It had like motion accelerator five... Um, physical conditioning, all that kind of stuff to, to run fast on the Dyson Sphere. And um, whenever I was standing right there, Dino came. This guy just lifted up his arm. A flash. Dino was dead. Just like a snap of a finger. It didn't even have time to like load the side that turned red or anything. And then um, I followed him through the uh, transporter to the park. And as he went into the transporter, then I went in like immediately after. He came running back from it as though he had already been over there. Like he, like he just was there and was like coming from it because, well, it was a little little off there. I, I was He was in there. Then I came in there. And then I saw him coming back from it. And it, it's like it, he already took care of that one too. It was just really weird that day. I didn't know how he did it. Because it's like he took down all of them because after that, he went into the the portal of the transporter again. He went to the, like I guess command or whatever, and I went to the city transporter. I ran all the way around because I still had some motion accelerator five left. And um, as I was approaching the the Rex, he had already was standing there. AJT3K says, I used to get SEC space boost all the time from a buddy. HATE3K says, but he stopped playing Stow. Oh. Sector space boost? Is that like a like accelerator five? Like if someone's next to you, you get the little speed boost from them. Ooh, Endeavor perk. Here we go. Oh, let's see, control resistance, drain resistance. Control's low, so let's get that. All right. Okay, so. The only thing left to do Arctic now. Arctic Knight says it's from diplomacy. H A T E three K says yes, it's a short one H R boost for Sector Saps travel. Diplomacy. I've got that maxed out. Diplomatic. Rank four on everything except recruitment. I've been working on trying to get recruitment back up though, or trying to get it up. All right, let's do Kobayashi. And maybe some arena, because once Kobayashi's done, I'll have 14 of 14 and be able to do one more of the daily, because it allows you to get the dilithium after that. So let's do this. I don't know, maybe two Kobayashis. No, we'll do arena next. Because I haven't yet to do one. HATE3K says, you unlock it at diplomatic rank 3. Oh, so how do you share it with someone? It's just like a thing. H-A-T-E-3-K says, but you can't use it on yourself. Welcome to the Sad Gamma face. That's weird. This exercise, you, must protect the you can use it for other people. See, I don't even know that I have all this stuff. I've just been unlocking things over and over and over. I'll go through like a series of where I'll try to get a lot of accolades and stuff like that and then not even bother like later on with that. H-A-T-E-3-K says... Both players have to meet in sector space to give it to one another. Ah, oh, H-A-T-E-3-K okay. says, if they have unlocked it. Gotcha. That's interesting. Ha, huh, they've got that too. 19 players out of all tier 6. We have struck a graphitic mine and have lost all power. Our highest penetrated and we have sustained many casualties. Boom! We ran through it like a butter through knife. Or a knife through butter. One of the other three. <laughs> Fire. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. God, I love critical. I haven't even used my batteries either. Just kind of let them sit there. Fire. Not over yet. The next wave is coming. Everybody get ready for the next wave. It's coming. How nasty.
fire. I don't even use these anymore. I used to like select one of the three or few whatever to do, and I just gave up. In fact, can you do anything like to click on something else? No. Enemy buff. Buff steel. We're just gonna fly around and press space bar. Ooh. Von F Von F ship. Snowflake Marcus Dirk. The next wave is coming. Nazareth. Fire. Jim Hadar. Attack them. They can sometimes join the Klingons. We must destroy the Klingons. Klingon bastard, you killed my son. Right. As we say on Earth, sell up you. Ah, I've got another idea. <laughs> Where's me a bunch of people here? Heads up! Another wave is coming your way. Here comes another wave, man. Fire. Kaboom. Where's everybody at? Over here. Ooh. Ooh, turn into it. There we go. <sighs> Me and my rock. Me and my rock. My little pet rock. Maru. It's going to park right there in the middle of one of the... Okay. This should be interesting. <laughs> ready for another wave. Dude, we're going to get ready for another wave, dude. No way. Yes, way, Ted. The acceleration of Vix is active. Nice. I love acceleration. It's fun. Let's go faster. Ew. It's my kind of fly. Nose dip down, yo. Fire. This is not give me more the power to weapons. A chew sound. And clean that up, please. Hey, Captain. Hey. I'm killing it all, just got cut. Get ready for another enemy assault incoming. Survive the onslaught. Survive the onslaught. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's a five year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Oh. Borg. My arch enemy, the Borg. My shield. My, my rear is failing again. Fire. My four shields failing. HATE3K says, My trans warp speed right now is 24.52. What kind of um, warp drive do you have? Because I think, what, what do I have here? Let's see. Warp. Gamma. Uh, synergic. Gener synergistic recharge warp Can board. you repeat that? Mine? 
Gamma Synergistic. I can't read right now. Synergic. Synergistic. Overcharged warp core. AJT3K says, you asked me something? Oh, um, yeah, what kind of, uh, warp drive? says, I didn't hear it. What kind of warp drive do you have? Alright, that should have given us the event. And it did. AJT3K says, I have that gamma warp core, just not epic. Ah. Temporal hack universal kit module. And three somethings. What, what did it say? Three somethings of what? Oh, three uh, feature TFO reward. Bound to account. This box contains your choice of. Universal Tech Upgrade or one specialization point. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Enhanced. No dilithium cost. <coughs> one specialization point. I don't need specialization points for this character. I don't really care for him anyway, so I'm going to get that. Upgrade ones. But it's not like it's hard to get specialization points. I'm going to protect that, because we can probably always reclaim it anyway. Okay, now we can do Arena of some packed ground, just for the Dilithium. So hang your britches high. We're going to have some more fun. Right after these messages. Any day now. Here we go. We're going to do this. We're going to win. We have lost control. There we go. There we go. Oh, we got a drunk Jim Hadar. You need to do home, mister. Kava. Welcome to the I'm ready, alright. Damn it, shit, fuck. Alright. Begin with the skirmish against members of the alliance. <laughs> I love the way Whenever they run, sometimes it's like that the model just doesn't know what to do with the upper half of the body, so it just leans a certain way. Yay! We're in someone's urine. Lightning round. Now we 
Tony Todd sure does love playing villains. Fire. Where is the enemy hit? My gosh, man. There we are. Down, you big thing, you. Ravenger. Phasers. Ooh, there's my buddy right there from Dyson. HATE3K says, Who nice is that the 23C phaser? Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Voth. Huzzah! Their weak spot, their ass. Boom. <laughs> Someone's got the Abraham Lincoln axe. <laughs> there you go. Corner it up, mister. Good job, son. Good job. Good job. I think, um, is it to Spork has that? Type 2? No, 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 no. Spock or somebody. Spock. Where is he at? 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 Where, 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 where? Hologram Spock. Yeah. That's ah, one of those. Cease The battle is now complete. We fought with honor, despite the. We what with honor? Oh, I fought. Oh, he said something else. Drunk Hadar. Hey, Mr. Snot, uh, bring me a book, Mr. Mr. Snot. Stop sneezing all over the equipment. I kind of help us out. <laughs> Uh, officers complete. Was that resettle collect? Yeah. Let's go to the holdings here, since we got some stuff to drop off. Uh, upgrade that. Fleet marks. We're gonna get them marks up there, boy. One of these days. One of these days. Provisions still need some good upping. Yeah, why not? Why not?
just use it all up. There we go. This ought to do some good. Yay! Oh. <laughs> H-A-T-E-3-K says, Oh, on my tune. Oh. Okay. So what have we done? H-A-T-E-3-K says, This one takes the lonest. What does this thing do that's, uh, we've got for this? Let's see. H-A-T-E-3-K says, no gamma warp core. No gamma warp core. Let's see. Temporal hack. Hold electrical DOT fragile. Okay. Disable shields. 7.7 electrical damage every one second for five seconds fragile. Hold for five seconds fragile. Shields offline for eight seconds. 45 second recharge. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. <coughs> How long have I been do doing this? Three hours and 47 minutes. Nice! Alright. With? Alright. <sighs> mm. Got all that, got all that. Did all this, did all that. Alright, I think I'm going to call it a stream. Because I've done all my objectives. H-A-T-E-3-K says, can you give me a SEC space boost? A second space boost? Where are you? H-A-T-E-3-K says, DS-9. DS-9. H-A-T-E-3-K says, I can meet at Sphere Entrance if you like. Nah, I'm on my way there. Deep Space Nine. H-A-T-E-3-K says, Number Two. Number Two. Great number. Numero Dos. Where, which, okay, which instance am I at? Currently on that, let's go to this one. Kaboom! H-A-T-E-3-K says, Sector Space Number 2. Oh, Sector. Not DS9. Okay. <sighs> Dean Winchester. Oh, is this Bob? Is this Bob? Bob? Bob is that you? Three K says. Yoda. Yoda. Okay, and this is, uh, which one am I at? Number two, you said? Okay. All right. Jim hit our cruiser. Lucifer. H-A-T-E-3-K says, number two. Number two. Oh, you said sector space, which is, is, oh, that's in, di okay. It's not out here, it's in there. Approach Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine. H-A-T-E-3-K says, you're in number five. You're in. You're in. <laughs> I think I'm going in circles.
Testing out those normal warp engines. Wow. HATE3K says, Sector Saps number two. So not in the sector itself, but actually in space space. Deep Space Nine, number two, but not. So you're in real space, it's like everywhere. The Defiant. Okay, so leave system and go to there. Boom. Okay. There. Change instance. Currently on number four. You said number two, but two's full. Number two seems full. Alpha quadrant number two. <laughs> do, 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 do. H A T E three K says, "Let me switch to number six then." Okay, let me let me see. Let's see. Number six for me as well. Head warp factor six. Yoda, you seek Yoda. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> too fast. Oh, there right we are. Nose to nose type situation. Moving up and down. Hi, everybody. How we doing over here? And how do I give you this boost? HATE3K says, press P on keyboard. Ah. <clears throat> Attack pattern, battery. Boost morale, team control debuff removal, no. Brace for impact, call the traitor. Command attract fire. Okay, let's see. Defense configuration. <clears throat> Distribute shield power. Emergency power to weapons, encoded. See, invasive maneuvers. Fleet support, focus frenzy, force challenge, full impulse, all powers to engine, cooldown, grant diplomatic immunity, huh. Nimbus pirate, offensive, phaser, uh, quantum, ramming speed, locate mine. HATE3K says that one. The wood one. This in the power to. HATE3K uh, says grant diplomatic immunity. Ah. HATE3K says, put that on your tray. Alright, let's see. Jump that up there. HATE3K says, select me and press it. Gotcha. Sweet. Wow, plus 50, that's awesome. HATE3K says, there you go, that all there is. Nice. Never knew about that. Because I, I barely, like, do a lot of stuff in here. All right. HATE3K says, you can get two, boost that way. Oh. HATE3K says, a Fed one and a KDF one. And, like, go super fast. Where is 
K13 and whoa, slow it down, son. Press the wrong one. Whoosh. Stop that. In Kathy's sector. HATE3K says, LOL, I'm using a OL rare hipper injection warp core on this tune. <laughs> HATE3K says, Wow. Slow, slow. Coolves21 says, Twitch raid, Twitch raid, Twitch Sweet. raid, Twitch raid, Twitch raid, Twitch raid. Hello, Greg's, Greg's Lounge. Lounge. Says, Twitch raid, Twitch raid, Twitch raid, Twitch raid, Twitch raid. That's awesome. I haven't been raided in a long time. That's pretty sweet. I just hate that it's like right at the end of when I'm about to turn it off. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. Sweet. ROB934 says, Tomb Raid, Tomb Raid, Tomb Raid, Tomb Raid, Tomb Raid, Tomb Raid. Greg's Lounge says, Well, it worth a try. Yes, it was. I'm just going to recap today, as soon as I got online on Star Trek Online. Got a message here. Terms of service violation warning. The following ship names are in violation of our terms of service. USS Crapper Prize. I've had it for a year and a half. At this time, the inappropriate names have been reset, and you can change them the next time you log in. Please be aware that the future violation can lead to... to Disciplinary action on the account up to and including permanent account closure. Our guidelines and policies were created to protect accounts and ensure that the game remains fair and fun for the entire community. How is that not fair and fun to the community? The automated message. So yes, I, I, I got that. USS Crapper Prize cannot be used as a name. So I had to default back to my toilet prize. And there he is. The toilet prize, mister. Oh, cryptic. You little bastards. <laughs> but, yes. Um, I'm sorry uh, you raided and I'm about to leave. That really, that really, I'm sad. I'm sorry about that. It's, that really sucks. Um, oh, okay, maybe I'll, y'all, Mr. Raided. ROB934 says, it was not cryptic. Someone reported you. Oh. Someone reported me. So they could just do that then. Like if you're if they think that your name is not a good name. Cuz I have a disgruntled person that used to view my channel or my my Twitch here. And ROB934 says, "Yes, sir." Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it's probably that dude. That's in that's 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 interesting. Well. That's kind of sad. Even my like a uh, little tiny pooper scooper too. That's Hmm. ROB934 says, don't feel bad, people suck. So if I changed it, like like uh, Hate3K was telling me in, in my chat here, if I changed it back to the USS Crapper Prize, would they... HATE3K says, I told him the same thing. Yeah, if I, if I changed it back to that, would they, you know, say, oh, oh you did it again, blah, you know. Guy's probably laughing about it too. Well played, King of Rumenshin. Well played indeed. H A T E three K says, I see nothing wrong with that name. R O B nine three four says, Yet I wouldn't test the waters. Very well. You hear that, mister? You've 
challenge me to war now. Let's see, ignored offline. <laughs> my friend, yeah, he's not even my in there anymore. Okay, well, yeah, it was an interesting night. Other than that happening, did all the endeavors, um, went through all my alt characters that I wanted to to get some more dilithium, queued up for um, some exchange action right here to buy some Zen if, if that says, works. I mean, if you suspect it's someone specific and they keep trying to report, you may be able to file a harassment complaint. But if the name is reportable, I'm not sure they would help. Right. Hello. How are you? Yeah, so I don't know when this will kick in and probably won't get to the full amount needed to get the, uh, the legendary thing that's coming soon. But you never know. Until then... I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same schedule. To those who have just come in, I'm sorry that I was right at the very end of everything. I mean, I'd... Welcome. Uh, thank you for the follow. HATE3K says, have good one. Yeah, you, you have a good one too, dude. And thanks for hanging in there with me throughout the, the stream. It's fun to do this and talk to people at the same time. You know, chat with everyone. I love it. And I've, I've, <laughs> I've been doing it every night now, and I can't stop. It's like an addiction. Greg's Lounge says, have a good night. Have a good night. Is that planet rotating in the background? It sure is. Wow, I never noticed that. That's awesome. The planets actually rotate in space. Okay, yeah, y'all have a good one, too. And thanks for showing and, and rating I'm, I'm, you know, and, and stuff. And I'll return the favor, Greg's Lounge. Thanks. Bye-bye, everybody.